Yay! Hello there. It's your boy, Tasty Cake. Phew. I can see myself on my screen. I can see lives. Eight seconds starting. The chat is here. Chat is up. Come on, peoples. Hello. I'm taking this down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm believing the whole situation when I tried to do it the last couple of times was because of the cable. Because the cable was bad for more than a week. And I, when I did this and I had a screen, I kept trying it over and over again. Can I delete something? I didn't do anything different. The update I did, I don't know, can't be. Because when I did Twitch, my friend Kenzo of Kenzo Creations, he said every five seconds he heard me and then I just freeze and dis dissipate. It's been because of storm, nasty storms, and it would just got worse. Because when I was a time, couldn't see me at all. It just staggered and... If it affects Twitch, Twitch is big on, I could not do Twitch for a long time until updates and more RAM. So that I, I'm surprised I was even on the thing. And that's when I just got off and that's when I was feeling sick because I sent my energies out and well, I'm 97, 97% better. I'm grateful for that. I'm not sure if I grounded myself enough for today, my energies. But I'm believing I did. So I'm I'm good to go. Now I just uploaded my first video. I kind of also put the numbers in. I tried to keep for the podcast because I'm trying to do podcasts. This is also on a podcast, which is on YouTube music, which I suspected it would be. But I didn't take the time to bother finding out until my boss man. Big boss, man. James Von Bolt. He said to everyone, you know, promote the band. I said, anything, is, you know, I did a boss. I promoted, you know, YouTube music and Spotify. I still can do a video on that. Yeah, I can do mine. I just love so many videos I can do. I can do a video uh, here again, promoting, you know, Von Bolt because they deserve it. And Velvet Chains because he's part of the other band too. I got my scarf uh, slash sash. You know, hunt, uh, Hunter's, Hunter Stewart, which I still got to do my paperwork and do a video to send. It's been like a month since I've done it. For two weeks I've been sick. Saying I got my paperwork in to Scottish titles and saying, here it is. I'm happy. Yay, Ostradamus. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Thank you. Hello. Hots and hundred percent hots and uh, party life and everything else. I'm happy that I can see myself that it was this whole situation was because of Cox Cable. I said when I had issues with um, Twitch and Kenzo, Kenzo Creations. He said like, he barely saw me on the thing. Like it was all them. My neighbor across the street calls up and he gets to someone in India. Thank you for calling Cox Cable. My name is George. I could not help you. Uh, something wrong with the cable. Well, you need a new cable box. And I was like, eh, but he's still, everyone kept saying, why'd you get a new box for? He wanted to follow the rules. It still was not enough. And since I'm the one that's on the wireless here, you know, I had the most issues. And of course, right now, because I'm on wireless and because I I have two more videos to push, my uh, current video is at uploaded 44%. It's now still 24 minutes left to load. Number 94 under the podcast, YouTube music. Number 210 under Raves and Rants. What's been going on for the last two weeks? It's loading. The other two are snacks. When... He goes there and said, it must be something we can promote him. He said, no, 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 no. He tells the entire neighborhood, no, call Cox Cable. What is wrong with the cable? And so 
Come Monday. Last week, cables fixed. Like crystal clear. I ain't been sick. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of last week, I dropped down. I thought, okay, I've been sick since uh, since I sent out my energies. And I told my ex girlfriend I did. I, you know, because she knows I can do the empathic thing. So, did you ground? You didn't ground yourself, did you? Like, no. You didn't. You should have ground yourself. I know. I don't know if I did today either. To be honest, I did my. Did I do Twitch? No, I did the video. This video is coming up. I'm talking about it. It was around two o'clock for the solar eclipse, right? I had an Instagram video. It said yesterday. I did it before. I did it like right before the eclipse. And tomorrow, you need to take a handful of salt, wash your hands with the salt, rub it in. While I was saying a mantra, Sarge. No, I retain all my energies. Uh, Mode it be. Lots of water, wash your hands, and let it dry, air dry. It's getting dark. So that's when I started the video or something. No, it's getting dark. I took a shower in the dark. I shouted, I said all these things, you know, saying, you know, mm -hmm, I believe, I believe. On my head. And then it went away, you know. If you go to any news site, anything's going to show the the solar eclipse. Megan J. Retro. I follow him. He's a cool guy. He's Asian. You know, we're all cool. I wouldn't say, tell him Tasty Cake sent you. Because he doesn't know who I am. <laughs> he should. All influencers need to know who I am. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that was awesome. That was a home. Hmm. I can tell you this. This thing's been killing me for two weeks. When I did, I was on uh, the two weeks. This is the last week. I'm not on tomorrow night's show, Legend of Charming Tartars. Last week I was still sick, but I still managed to do it. And the week before, when it was really bad, it was a uh, fuzzy. It was it was like I was the monster in the void because it was grainy and it kept freezing up more so than usual. Hence so why hopefully Best Buy will have these modems because I need the. Uh, this one, because this was also last week's numbers. I'm hoping it's on sale. This one seems to be better than the more expensive one and the price. And I want that one because that one looks exactly like mine. But these are faster. These can take up to 500 megabytes per second, which we're capable of. So hopefully I'll stop the freezing. So see what happens tomorrow at Best Buy. But, you know, I managed to go through everything. But I didn't do any videos. I just couldn't breathe. You know, at nights, you know, you wake up and you're just clearing your throat. I was getting better. I did. I could sleep. But when I wake up, you know, there it was. A scratchy throat at work. Meaner than usual because I wasn't feeling well. Sweating my brains out. Hey, you open. You see the dim light on? You see a clothes sign anywhere here? You see the chain blocking away, which I requested a chain 10 years earlier. I don't say that, but I also wear a mask. You can't tell. I still got my cough drops. Still got a few left over. Still got a whole bag. So I'm feeling 97% better. I'm getting it going again. So I'm feeling good. Cable's up. So look at the modems. Look at that. Uh... The video's coming up, so I want to really talk about, not going to talk about what I did in the video. 19 minutes left. So in 21 minutes, I'll post the video while I'm on here. Check it out anytime. It's about me talking about, you know, solar eclipse, my health thing, but, you know, health things right now. Still dealing with it. And uh, how many videos do I get? I did more than three. Let's see, I did that one, 
Yeah, so that was, that's that one. That's the solar eclipse, what I did. That's the picture. That one is to second video, which I'll be loading up. I talk about friend or fan. That's a concept of how you rate your friendships and such. Then the last two videos is a Cadbury egg, which I never had one before. Cadbury cream egg. Finally ate one. And um, here, I still got the wrapper. The other one's wrapped up. I wrapped up the wrapper. Chance wrapper. Wow. Thank you, Ireland 2K7. Wow. Appreciate you. Ireland finally catching a live stream. Wow. Yeah, every Monday I do a live stream at six o'clock. If you catch me on Twitch, because it was my um, ex love of my life, it was going back into the adult film industry. That's her choice. It's not like we were friends outside of her Twitch page, I'm saying. She told me to do Twitch, you know, so I have Twitch live Sundays an hour earlier. But right now it's right now it's 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. So right now is the time on Sunday is an hour earlier because I get home from work, I eat dinner, and then I go straight to telling everyone how my week went. And tomorrow I'm not doing anything. I'm not on Legend of Trouting Tardis. I did it for four weeks. I'm take a better break. But Wednesday, uh Wednesday, what time I do Wednesday? Wednesday, four hours earlier, I'm on Twitch. So I'm trying to do that whole thing there. You have your, you have your family game night on Mondays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Day at the same time, so I'll catch up. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, Twitch is under Tasty Cake. You know, keep it all across the board. Which surprised me how she knew I was it was. Oh, yeah. So video number four is this Reese's Mallow Top. So it was good. It is sweet because of the marshmallow. Sorry, because of the mallow top, not marsh. It's not squishy. It's just a layer on it. It's interesting. That's like the, the Cadbury pre-make. You know, my first time, time I've ever had one. I am can say someone in Oregon won the Powerball jackpot, and that was $1.3 billion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I had plans. Of course, we all have plans, you know. Uh, my, as I talked about in the first video, which is still loading, 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 15 minutes left. I made plans of, of course, I still got to go back to Florida. I still got so many things to do in Florida. I need to go through my storage room down there, grab my stuff, bring it up to Georgia, figure out what I'm going to do with that. Still got stuff to behind here to get rid of. But right now it's like all oh, perfectly done. I don't want to. I was digging the other room. I was like, well, there's my costumes way in the back corner. Oh my God. Mega J Retro. Holy moly. Dude, I found you all the time. What? I was just mentioning it to go to your page to watch your video. And I'm going to pass out. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Ostradamus Toys. Oh my God. I got to make it, Jay Retro. We have the power. I got the power because I got Mega Jay on my show. <laughs> Be proud, brother. Oh my lord. Uh, AJ would be most appreciated if you subscribe to my page. You know, you don't have to subscribe to everything because I subscribe to everything on yours. So I know every time I'm on YouTube, there you are. And but you know, you can, uh, you know, geek proud, you know, it's, you'll subscribe, being, being number 104 subscriber, you know. <laughs> Yeah. 
and maybe get your picture on top of there too with with Kenzo Creations. He sent me stickers. Yeah, Kenzo. He Kenzo oh, hide the address, learn that. Oh I said my name. How about that? Have you seen my name? You can find me on Facebook. Unless you find me on Facebook is under Tasty Cake on the Socials. But uh Kenzo sends me stickers, right? This is the second ones. <laughs> I appreciate it. Wow. But Jay is okay. Wow. One of the one of the masterminds. Uh, masterminds of toys. I'm like, wow, oh my God. Now, if only Pink Wasabi would follow me. Yeah, someone get uh, someone get Emily to follow me. I will. I owe you debt of life because she's true story. I have like a thousand people, friends and such, and I said, "Oh, my Twitch channel," because she's the one that told me to do it, and she didn't show up, and I just got mad. So I went on the only other fan page that. Uh, she and I follow each other on. I'll tell you this. Only on that other fan page, I try to make a comment, and he told me how to pay for it. So, so all these women can do all these things over there, but I want to make a little statement. I had to pay for it? No. So, if for chance, you you see some nice, lovely girl that you like to follow on those things. Only on that one fan page. And it has a link to here. It has a link to YouTube. Is that on YouTube? You go anywhere you want. You go to Twitch. You go on Twitch, which I did yesterday. You know, it goes back to here. Everything like that. But uh, M, she said, oh, I'm here. And I said, well, what you call me on Twitch? And then found out it was her. Anyway. It's been a month. She should be giving me my now. I'm just saying. But I got Jay. Oh my God. Okay. I'm okay. Focus. 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 Um. As a hundred people like my stuff so far, and I'm going to get an award made, and I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna put my Splash Mountain picture. Maybe probably there. Move the monkey. I got my. Please like, subscribe, share there. Yes, sir. I got uh, the Optimus Prime Legacy the one core figure I glued. See, Jay, I followed you. Since I follow you, that's what I try to do too. I got this thing for $2. And I stood up sideways. So I was like, Batman, my Raves and Rants, I kept flipping. Shockwave with pieces. That freaking cube, which I had to go online to figure out how to do bag Doctor Who. Cause that's who I am. I glued Megatron's arm on. <laughs> Gorilla glue doesn't work very well, but it's good enough for me. <laughs> Is that comic? I don't know. That was amazing. Stand up, maybe. Stand up, Optimus. The stuff I got from Disney. Thank you, Ireland 2K7. I appreciate that. All these things. You look, I got my pops, right? Every single pop, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to do 20 videos, separate videos of me. I haven't made them all yet. I got two I already made. One of them has to be painted. The other one, I can't remember what I did. But in total, 20 pops based on different names. Full name, nickname, other nickname, nickname, another nickname. I got one behind me behind her. It's called Sloppy Joe Taco. M was talking to her friends, and someone said about them, hey, Miss Prince. No, 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 Miss Prince. Because that's one thing I know is with Grammarly, I make sure I get it right. The Funko Pops, uh, I said, they were talking about Sloppy Joe Tacos. I said to M, you know, that's my, Sloppy Joe Tacos, my stage name. And as an adult film actress, she said, uh, so, Sloppy Joe Taco is your prawn name? And smiled. I was like, oh my God. Oh, it's Lynn Rob. I got painted Lynn Rob. So, he's behind there. He's 
is the funkiest thing. I, when I, I get to 20 videos I got to do. I got to do a video on that one because I own two lands, two square feet of land in Scotland with a tree. I'm a laird. L-A-I-R-D. I'm going to have a Funko Pop with a white shirt. I'm going to figure out the pattern or get a little splotch, stick it in the box, and just as a laird because I own lands in Scotland. But because of the fact that somebody in Oregon won the $1.3 billion in the Powerball, I can't make any trips right now. I still had to make a trip to Orlando because my attorney of play sets in storage. No, it's at the house. The storage room is almost full of stuff I have no room for. I got a room that I dealt with today, making a little pathway. Where am I finding all this stuff? I got He-Man figures. I got everything. I got all these things that... Oh my God. I got to look, and since I haven't been out shopping in a week, because last week I was sick for th my three days, I got to see what's at Walmart, because I'm still missing Krang. What? Holy crap. How the hell? <laughs> Tasty cake. I do have a tasty cake. Oh, yes. He's way up there. Let's bring him down. So even though my name is Reverend Amagon, because Reverend is an official term, I am an ordained minister. Tasty cake with someone I created. <laughs> because it's taste, tea, cake. As I'm holding the microphone and headsets, because I'm listening. No, I'm sorry. That's a camera. The Reverend Amagon has the headphones, a book, and an award because... I'm going to win an award for my talk show, which my two cohorts from The Legend of the Traveling Tardis, Dave Chapman, who will be producing and co-hosting, and our friend Mark Robinson, a.k.a. Candyman, be doing a lot of political things. That's all I'm going to know. So, Taste the Cake is my first pop. Because my hair is like that. Reverend Amagon, Tommy, Tom, Thomas, uh, um, TK. You would think this was Reverend Amagon. No, this is Reverend Amagon's body. Ah, awesome. This is the Reverend Amagon body. But I once played a character on TV. His name was Larry. So the black will be purple. The sash will be light purple. I got to paint a belt on him. I got my paints on my desk. I got to get my big old boomstick camera, boomstick, and do the whole thing probably next week. I got to do the arranging thing. So I'm going to do painting. I will be doing reviews on DVDs. I got a, I got a DVD called The Farmer's Daughters, which I saw. Oh, yeah. Remember, these videos on YouTube are 18 plus. Because if I go, if I say it's available for everyone, there's no chat. I learned that one as um, Radical Toys, uh, Radical Toys with Toy Mama, Adam and Christina, Kenzo, and Timescales. That, man, that man's a genius. You ever go on the Timescales page on YouTube? That guy is. He knows people. He interviews people. He wants to interview me. Me. Your boy. Tasty cake. So I'm just, every every Monday I'm here at 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time just to come back. I'm grateful that the cable's back online so I can see myself. I can see everything here that I need to work on. And this whole thing here needs to be gone and that thing needs to be gone. That needs to be adjusted. There's my famous TV display. Every month I change it over. Christmas tree is permanent. As the stuff just sits there because I have no eager design to move it over. 
this month contains frogs and earth day, uh, record day, grilled cheese sandwich, you know, the year of the dragon ghost. No pink has to do with the color pink. So I put pinky, uh, aliens. Oh, look at me. I'm on my ship. Oh, isn't it lovely? Mm -hmm. Guitars, uh, the Tardises, those are the light blue one is my original Tardis from series one. Second Tardis is the um, from series three. I'm behind there. Little dude in the black here. Here comes the man in black. That's me. Uh, super uh, superheroes is this month as well. Something to do with a, a cup of tea. Some do with dogs. Some do with cats. Dragon Blaster Skeletor. I put that one together. I never had one, so I just bought pieces. I dropped a lock. It's sitting there, but I got uh, from Barbarossa Customs. If anyone's interested in making customs for Masters of the Universe, go to Barbarossa Customs. He's doing, I think he's open again to do the pre-orders. I asked him for a special head to be made because of Makeshape Create. Uh, Corey is a friend of mine. I got to do a video. I'm going to show off the pieces. I'm going to give to Corey and send it out to him to make for me. Uh, prototype, chest bursting, Skeletor and He-Man to also make me a vintage Faker, Dragon Blaster Faker, vintage Dragon Blaster anti attorney He-Man and Mega Customs, I asked him for, oh, yes. I asked Mega Customs for, a, he made a closed mouth dragon blaster head. But I asked him to ask for a couple other things. I haven't bothered him yet about it again. I want to do a dragon blaster uh, flying fist He-Man. I saw, uh, Corey and I both saw the picture on Facebook. They used the Dragon Blaster armor on He-Man, but it had that centerpiece. I wanted to have the Flying Fist He-Man armor, paint the green over it, slap the backpack on him, and have a closed mouth dragon, if I could. Paint it green so we have our Dragon Walker appearance, but on his back. So, plenty of ideas. Always have the ideas. That's why I'm an evil genius still. But it's to get it done. I mean, for me to have 20 Funko Pops, different ones. One that's uh, my prawn name. Last one I thought I was saying, I want to be the 20th one. Hmm. We talked about the master. And I did play the master. And two stories I haven't written yet. After all these years. But. The picture exists. Stories exist. Uh, this is my paperwork. This is my paperwork. My paperwork for Scottish titles, right? I got there it is. I thought they would have filled out the paperwork saying that they witnessed it, but all I had to do is do a video on this, and they're going to send me 50 bucks. Because I got a tree. I'm official Laird. My brother in England said, you go by Laird, because he's Scottish descent. So one day, I win the lottery. I go see my friend Gadget in Brooklyn, in Bronx. She lives in the Bronx. She actually caused the earthquake. She said it It happened. I swear to God. Oh, yes. I asked him about Lord or Laird. He said Laird because it's a Scottish term. So it's not official, but it is my legitimacy of being an ordained minister. Hence the reverend. I'm a Laird. I'm a reverend. I'm a saint. I'm a mess. So I want to see her. Then I want to go zoom over to Burbank, see my other friend. She's also an influencer. 
Olivia Durant. Yeah. You look up Gadget Pendragon. I asked her, am I a friend or a, a fan? She didn't reply, so I said, you're my friend. That's one of my other videos I made. That's the second video, yeah. Because, you know. So I go see my friend Olivia Durant in Burbank. That will hang out and fart on people. She said it, I didn't. Head to Vegas because I got to go see Von Bolt. Check out Von Bolt on Spotify, on YouTube Music. I'm also on YouTube Music, which I didn't figure out until he told me. And everyone knows. Promote Von Bolt. It's very horror and macabre, but the man is a genius. Oh, my God. He's musician, singer, producer. He's, you know, lead, he created Von Bolt. He's a rhythm guitarist for the band Velvet Chains. He and Lisa Foyles, actress from All That on Nickelodeon. And her show, Temperamental, on YouTube and Spotify. You know, they got their thing, the adversaries. I said to him, you know, it'd be great. Because he said to me, you know, I'm supposed to tell him when I get to Vegas. Oh, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Oh, and wow, I can say Mega J Retro is on my show. And maybe Mega J Retro will subscribe to my show. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate you. Um, so with uh, James, he's like, well, he's friendly to me. He said to me, you know, tell me when I'm going to Vegas. He said, to, I showed my birthday cake. He said, is your, your B-Day? Yep. Happy birthday. You're going to die. You know you're going to die. Make this year your bitch. So, you know, camar camaraderie and call each other brother. I call him boss now because, you know, whatever he tells me to do, I'll do. I, and I said, you know, if I asked him to play banjo, I said, you know, it'd be great if we had the adversaries featuring Tasty Cake, you know, one night only. He didn't respond. You know, I don't expect him to. You know, but that's a pipe dream. Me singing. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Oh my God, Mega J Retro subscribe to me. Oh, I'm going to push this so big. Oh my God. Holy mackerel. Um, um, holy mackerel. Um, but, you know, I don't expect anything from James. Poggers, well, you know, he's this guy is a masterpiece. I'm just a former evil genius. You know, he's friendly to me, but you know, I would go see him in Vegas because you know he told me to see my aunt there. And would ever I see Pink Wasabi? I don't know. It's been a month. I would think she would forgive me by now, but maybe not. Falling in love with adult film stars, not all the kid work um, cracked up to be, or anyone actually, but. You know, I would see them, see Lisa and say, well, technically if James is a friend of mine, that means she's a friend of mine by association. You know, she and I are associated. We know each other. I try to friend her and she don't want to, but you know, in a technicality, we are friends. So I can say we're definitely associates. Jumping, so jumping from Vegas, you know, go to England. I got to see my brother with my sister-in-law. And then we jump to Scotland because that's where my land is. Because I was, I'll tell you this one. There's a guy who runs a game show online. I think it's called the No Name Game Show. He told my other boss, Christian, and Dave, who's also co-producer, But I love her. Can't you see that I love her? Have you no pity? Your lover makes a passionate plea. And, and no matter what, I still love her. She knows it. Maybe that's why she's not talking to me. It's she's getting back in the adult film industry. You know, that's her choice. 
That's how she makes the money. What do I do? I don't make any money. I need to sell this crap to make money. Holy crap, I got Jay following me, subscribing. Oh my God, I got a ooh, macro. And because this live stream is featured later, please go to Mega J Retro, follow him. He's always doing reviews. I follow him constantly when he has things. I'm, I was going to watch his video, but I said, I'm going to do a video because it's close to six o'clock Eastern daylight saving time. So I'm still going to watch his stuff and I'm going to comment. E um, Ostradamus toys, you know, I'm sure Ostradamus and, and I follow each other. That's so many, you know, but for him to be here, so no, it's fine. He is, it must be, but you know, I got to go to Scotland. I got to take a picture of me with a tree. I got so many things to take care of. So I figure next year because honest to God. Oh, you found me from the algorithm. Oh, Thank goodness for algorithms because that's my main thing. So I'm, I appreciate you're here, Ireland 2K7, because I do the tags. I do everything I can. I mean, for Ostradamus to get Mega J Retros, oh, wow, my God, this guy is well known. Oh, mercy me. Because people know me. They just don't want to. They go, oh, he's talking about this again. What else am I going to talk about? I should be talking about my pops. I got into 20 videos on pops alone. I got the, the well, I did talk about them. They're my Disney trip. So it's um, this year for Disney. Uh, I had to share Jay with the, the Optimus because he's a Transformer fan. I You can see the rest of stuff there. You know? I got so much. I got pictures. I got my Instagram pictures. Uh, tasty cake on the socials. I appreciate that. I used to have the radio voice and I used to have the singing voice. I would love doing karaoke. I would, he said, you can't reach that. That's what I'm trying to do as an actor. That's what I try to do. I try to reach those pitches, which I can't, but I can still do my voice impersonation of Elvis Presley, still do Johnny Cash. I can still do Kermit the Frog, you know. I don't know how um, YouTube will accept that when I try to do that. That's why I asked. I asked James, can he play the banjo? He said, I cannot, but I think Lisa can. And that's why I brought up the whole one night only of the adversaries featuring Tasty Cake. I would sing Rainbow Connection. And since there's no music in the background, why are there so many songs about rainbows? I'm sorry, it's been two weeks since I had my voice. And what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions, and rainbows have nothing to hide. But can I? Because there's a copyright. That's what I worry about. You know, there's other people that sing. And the only thing I had by accident, because when I'm when I do the videos, you have the, the microphone, you have the background. And I accidentally clicked on the YouTube and it went to clip shorts, which I don't have a smartphone to do the shorts. Legend of the Traveling Tars posted when it had um, Dead or Alive by John Bon Jovi. And it said, that's copyright. Hmm. I did sing Come Monday. I tried a whole thing where I did it wrong. I put in the link under the comments about a song. I said, let's lip sync. It's time to lip sync. So you watch me lip sync. You click the button and we all lip sync together. When I finally got to it after 40 songs, I clicked the link, went straight to the music video. I said, oh. If I put in a comment and not the description, that would have probably been different. I just deleted the whole thing because for fun, but I did sing Come Monday. No music in the background. And down to San Francisco for the Labor Day weekend show. I got my hush puppies on. I guess I never was meant for glitter rock and roll because Jimmy just passed away. So 
that was a song I always sang. But instead of a, we can go hiking on Tuesday, it was we can go singing on Tuesday. That's the thing. Yeah, with no music in the background, that's a chance. That was my words. Because Tuesday night was karaoke night. We can go singing on Tuesday. With you, I would go anywhere. And sang as Kermit the Frog. I sang a duet as Kermit the Frog. My voice back and forth. Tell me. Oh, in the background? Oh, I, I'm a gamma sock I'd snagged on here. I barely need good socks. I wear diabetic socks. Yes, I did look up the free audios. I did. I it seemed I had it too loud, so I I guess because for me I listen loudly. I'm not deaf like my system manager is. When I get to work, he has a he has his Google on ninety nine, so I have Asia. I played Asia Go, and I dun, 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 dun. get up and go. I mean, loud as can be, but I don't push the button because when I get when I get to registers, he has the damn thing up on six, and I keep it on three or four because I go, oh my god. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I was thinking about that again. I got to work on on videos. I can do the. I can play. You know. The copyright free music. I tried that, so I need to adjust the volume control. But for live stream, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work. There's no way of accessing it. I've been tampering and playing with everything. But when I do the videos again, I'm going to try to do that. But you're right. I'm. I sang "Come Monday" in tribute to Jimmy passing. I. I got a Kermit there. I got the Kermit puppet somewhere. I got a Kermit doll in my room in the box, the newer version, which I don't really like. But I got Kermit, I can just have it right there on the microphone, you know, and just sing Kermit the Frog without the music. Because if someone wants to play the music, I was like, you know, put the music on and you see if I can get in tune. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions, and rainbows have nothing to hide. So we've been told, and some choose to believe it. I know they'll all wait and see. Someday we'll find it, the rainbow connection, the lovers, the dreamers, and me. Okay, I'm 98% better. I sang as Kermit's, Johnny Cash, Elvis, Beatles, you know, very John. I can sing like John Lennon very easily. You can Paul McCartney is very little bit different. And as George, you, and you sing as George, but you know, while my guitar gently weaves, or I can sing Ringo. I like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade. So I used to do character voices all the time. Was, that's how I entertained because I didn't like doing anything else. And I blew my chance at a voiceover position because they never called us back. And my friend said, you got to go back there and do it. They're not going to call you. Like, uh, no. I just gave up. I gave up on acting. My late director, he was interviewed by someone for a student film, which didn't happen in college. He said, oh, yeah, doesn't know his lines. Can't remember his blocking. Can't do anything right. Then that son of a bitch will go up on stage and do a thing perfect. He's a fucking asshole. <laughs> from from that man, that was a compliment. But he was always mad at me because I didn't continue acting. I did a TV show when I moved up here. I did my third Doctor Who, my third attempt at a Doctor Who movie. It's still on tape. I mean, I, I actually did a scene which I tried to incorporate someone else into it. I did see which I gained weight a bit. Yeah, I appreciate you. It just, you know, when you have, when you have bipolar disorder and obsessive compressive, 
obsessive comp compressive obsessive compulsive disorder and uh, attention deficit disorder, sometimes hyperactive. And when you send your empathic powers out to help someone and you don't ground yourself, you lose your health for two weeks. Oh, yes. I, my brother's the same way. He said, why are you going my tasty cake? So, well, and I went to, I went to Reverend Amagon because that's the title of my page is um, at Reverend Amagon. Because of tasty cake? No. Even when I'm doing the show, Legend of Charming Tardis, it says Reverend Amagon. Because Reverend is my title in reality. And Amagon was a, was a name that was given to me by old supervisors. So I just kind of put them together and I forgot I did and I brought them back together. You know? I went as Tasty Cake. Then I went to Reverend Amagon. I went as Hashtag Guru Without a Tardis. I went finally with Revs, Raves and Rants. But then on the chat, it would go, Hi, Revs, Raves and Rants, or Hi, Revs. No, it's Rev. Which I, in my mind, I so I told uh, another adult film star who I mm, had her autograph of pictures. I say it to Rev. It's like, why did I say say it to Rev? Why couldn't I say put it to Tom? What is wrong with me? Or as my friend Dave's cause says, it's tasty cakes. It's like, I gained weight because pink wasabi upset me and I don't want to be I do need to lose weight again. I'm back at 210. It's, uh, no more snacks. And much. I got less slim and fit. So I went back to Tasty Cake. And my brother goes, Why'd you go Tasty Cake? It's a promotion. And I was like, That's my name. I mean, Reverend Amagon, you know, it spins. It's like, Reverend Amagon up there is, you know, very, I did jokes. Let's say if I did a, if I wrote a story or had a film, it'd be Reverend Amagon and Tasty Cake, very Jekyll and Hyde. Reverend Amagon, very, you know, authoritative and this, that you had to listen to him. He says the right thing. He knows what he's talking about. Then like something happened and at nighttime he comes, your boy, Tasty Cake. So he's all very lewd and everything else. Now he's like, listen, this guy, who is this tasty cake? Why doesn't he show himself? What's going on here? Like, and I, it seems the old Reverend Amagon is having a fit about things, isn't he? <laughs> well, your boy, tasty cake's having your fun. You know, let's continue onward. You know, silliness, just back and forth, very Jekyll and Hyde. It'd be funny to do. A lot of filming to do, but it'd been funny. Even though, like I said, on Legend of Charming Tardis, I'm Reverend Amagon. But I'm still Tasty Cake. I'm Tasty Cake on here. On when I do the talk show, when we, when Dave and I create the talk show, it'll be Reverend Amagon because it's going to get very political. Very, uh, today's topics kind of thing. From A to Z. From A to Z. Because... Dave's Canadian and Candyman's as um, English, British. I'm English because my brother's English and he's Scottish. So therefore, I'm Scottish too. It's very weird. My ex girlfriend is Irish and Yugoslavian. So she had a bit of a. Anyway. Uh. So I went back to Taste the Cake just because of the titles. So I said, and they go, hey, Taste. No, it's Tasty. Get it? Tasty. Taste Cake. I got a T hiding back there somewhere behind Optimus's head. Behind Optimus's head. There's a T. I just don't. Probably taken out. But there's a tea up there too. I got that at a Hobby Lobby store. So, so I got to talk about this stuff too. I, I just put this stuff up here today in my Dalek, which I ordered to England and my brother sent to me. It's one of those, the old rides kind of thing. I'm having fun with it. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff in the background, but I had to move around and say, 
look at all this weird stuff. I put that back there instead of the hallway because I moved him down there. Thomas the Tank Engine, because, you know, even though the co-workers know my name, I go, my work name is Thomas and the Funkos. So I can figure out how to put, what about the other two? One, two, three, four, six, eight, nine. Oh, yeah. I can go 24 if I wanted to. I don't want to think about 24 Funko Pops. But, you know, there it is. It's, it's me. Just an idea comes about, oh, look, Funko Pops. I can customize my own. I got 20, I'm going to have 24 Funko, 20, 20 Funko Pops. Be. <laughs> and, you know, the two, turn, two orange birds and the... Uh, I don't know who that guy is, but he's supposed to be some kind of uh, Super Sentai from pre Power Rangers and you know, Sven Gulli. So I got so many things. Just and this is nothing. This is a creation I made here. I need to go through these drawers too. I filled them up, and I really don't remember where I put them in. But I'm just I'm here to entertain. You know, I always wanted to get a radio, but. I remember there was a show I was on called the The Collector. It was inviting the Guardians of Gallifrey, the fan Doctor Who fan club of Orlando, Florida, and I couldn't make it the one week because I was I was about to graduate. I wasn't. No, sorry, I was leaving the eleventh grade, and then the next week, you know, available. So we got on the show. I'm on. It was a little off network one of the little mom and pop channels and i couldn't remember anything the guy told me the describing all these doctor who toys and the host was a radio personality which i even remember so long as I, my dad was with me of course and he asked about well, what about the other guy your partners i yeah uh, they just they could put him as a janitor and he'll have to do his work because you know, broadcasting, they don't care. They just switch you here, there, and everywhere. They don't care. That's why Bill disappeared and the other guy disappeared. The, the guy who owned the comic book store, he created a uh, radio show which was only like midnight. And we were on the show talking and I call into the show so they knew who I was. I mean, one of them was a friend of mine. Then she got mad at me, but then we became friends again. But now we just kind of like, well, we know each other. I mean, we're friends. We're still friends, but, you know, hi, how are you doing? No big deal. But he retired. You know, he left the, he sold out the comic book store, and now it's completely gone. He did the radio show that ended after two years. He did other thing, big thing. So I can find him. I can say, hey, Frank. He gave me an exclusive T-shirt that had, a, based on the, the radio show, Sci-Fi Radio, and had a little thing on there on the back. Gave it to me. He's like, "Oh my god!" Because it was the only one. The other ones were different. So I cherish that shirt, and I really got to find it, and I want to, to frame it. It's like a shadow box of my three characters, which only two of them made a big impact with merchandise, and as put everything in there from my t-shirt to the other t-shirt to photos to the pair of panties, which has my face on it. That says, I love cuddly critters along with, well, technically, yeah. When I paint him purple and light purple and give him a belt and there's Linrov, I got to give him some pink face more hair and change them up. So I can technically put these two in the shadow box. 
leave them out of the boxes. Okay. Put the boxes aside. Yeah, then that'd work. Where am I going to put the shadow box? I don't know. It's behind my door. Wow. Wow, an enjoyable stream. Ireland 2K7, I appreciate that you are, you found me through the uh, algorithms. Um, Mega J Retro, wow, he subscribed. Oh, my God. Dude's has a following. And, of course, uh, Oz, Oz, Ostradamus Toys. So, the three of you, I appreciate you. I appreciate you coming, and I haven't been, I haven't done this in two weeks. And now that I know that it was the internet, so I can show everyone everything again, like, I'm very happy. Great show, great show. Because it's coming out to, I mean, an hour show on live. To, uh, like, you know, Wednesday, I will be on an hour earlier. On Twitch, which basically me talking about uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The Sunday show talks about Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, my work week. And YouTube Live is me just come a whole week's worth of what's popping in my head. So I greatly appreciate everyone stopping by. Please like, subscribe. Share a comment. I mean, wow. If I can just get Pink Wasabi to join up. If I can just get Pink Wasabi to talk to me again. Mm. That'd be awesome. But I'll never get um, Von Bolt to sign up. I mean, dude, his career is music. I mean, he's the boss. I mean, like I said, the pipe dream is me singing cover songs. He's playing guitar. They got the drummer and Lisa playing her guitar. And Emily being in the audience. That's the pipe dream. Because the ultimate one is winning the lottery, which didn't happen, which me going from the Bronx to Burbank to Las Vegas, Florida. Yeah to England, trip to Scotland, take a picture of me and my tree, coming back home. Not at the same time, just, you know, this is what I'm going to do. I still got to go to San Jose. Got to see family out there. See my girl in Burbank and then see a family in San Jose. Then hit Las Vegas, see the boss, and... If my ex wants to see me either way, you know, singing or not, I will, she will see me either way. <sighs> but my radio voice, thankfully, has come back. I do have another subscriber. He said that uh, he's enjoying my videos the past six months. Because I did live because of Radical Toys. I think it was a Z. Radical Toys does reviews on, you know, right now he's doing on Masters of the Universe. He does the Star Wars as well, like one figure at a time. I got on his page and they blasted, retro, they rad blasted me. So I got six, six subscribers and it was Kenzo Creations. He said he's he's got 3D printers so he can make stuff if I want to. So you know, spread the love. You know, we have the power. That's what Jay always says. Geek proud. I just want to make people happy. I want people to be entertained. So we're coming out to 5930. Thank you. I only talk to John once a year. He's my best friend, my, but he's, you know, he's working. My best friend, I talk once a year and we go to Disney. 
I moved my vacation from March because it's always my birthday. I always go my birthday, but I said I want to go January. We go the, during the Lunar New Year. So we're going to do it again a little bit later. Wherever the Lunar New Year is, again, I forgot. I watched it. I looked it up. I forgot. It's like the um, close to the end of the month in January for next year. It's on a Wednesday. So I want my mom to see her friends down there. So she can enjoy, and then the rich ones can give her money, because that's what they do. And we, John and I went to Epcot, which I still had the photos in the camera for two years. We're going, see, so we did Hollywood Studios, we did Epcot, we're going to Animal Kingdom. We're going to Animal Kingdom next year. And... He's going to go on, he wants to go on Avatar at least twice. Because that's what he is. I'm fine with it. But when he gets all the loop-de-loop -loop things, I kind of like, oh, close my eyes. Um, how can you be seven minutes left? You had all that, an hour to upload my video. 13 minutes left to upload my video because everyone is using the internet right now. So it's after an hour, it still has not finished my 30 minute video to upload. Holy mackerel. It's locked at 87%. Oh my God. So always something I'm definitely going to see if I can find them wireless boost the speed up. 12 minutes. Thank you. 12 minutes. 87%. Maybe I'll be able to load the other three videos before I go to sleep. Okay. Um, 12 minutes. 88%. Okay, good. So, I appreciate everyone being here. Ireland 2K7. Mega J Retro. Oh my god. Ostradamus toys. Kenzo appears. Oh, Kenzo. You stick his up there. <laughs> That's all right. That's right. You know, I got an hour's worth of talking. Uh, Ostradamus toys brought in Mega J Retro. Oh, yes. So, J is now a subscriber. Oh, my God. I got Mega J Retro as a subscriber on my page. It's uh, oh mercy, and amazing, and Ireland two K seven. He found me through algorithms. I'm glad. I'm grateful for that, and yeah. Oh yeah. So see, I did start the board. I took the cracker down. I put it uh, below the sign. Please like, subscribe, comment. There's a cracker, saltine. So, as I, said, I put your sticker up the other day, and I put my scarf slash. Sash. Uh, bright light. Because I will take off the picture I made there and put the talk show on there. And Von Bolt's poster has to remain there because whatever the boss tells me to do, I got to do what the boss says. But the sash scarf has to move somewhere in. You know, that's a nice place for an, an award. You know, I'm gonna because it's it's focus is right there. That's it's like right there, you know, perfect place for it. So the picture is eight and a half by eleven, so it's your choice, my friend. Your choice of how much to be, you know, made. You know, that's the spot of a <laughs> that'll be the place for the <coughs> excuse me, the award. But I'll move that somewhere. I'll move the, the scarf somewhere because when I add more peoples, I appreciate you. Squidward has to stay. The phone codes for this year will stay. I, that's I'll be 20 videos I do right there. and I got to do a collection video, but I video one of four is still freaking, oh, thank goodness, seven minutes left. It's still freaking loading after an hour. The what is uh episode 210 podcast number 94. 
Oh, I had podcast in them. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot how I did that. I had a hashtag and whatever. I don't want to fix them again. But podcast number 94 on YouTube Music, which I've figured out because the boss told me to promote Von Bolt. So the war to go there, that'll go somewhere. The scarf will go somewhere. The Funkos remain for a while. That's, again, that's 20 videos right there. These few will be another video. Maybe this will be another video. I got to get my boomstick arm for the camera because I got to... It's going to sit like that. Because I only have so much room on my desk. I got to do a review on Doctor Who Unit Fanual 1974 because I just did and pushed two of my friends from Imprint Comics. That's, they're also on the web and Facebook. They do Doctor Who drawings. And Ness had put me onto his, so I got that too. Radical Toys! Hello, sir! I did talk about Jadam. I said, all these people. It was... Um, as uh, Ostradamus toys, he brought in Mega J Retro. So, <laughs> I say, oh my god! And I, I said to Jay, unless he subscribed, he said he did. So, whenever this first video, I get five minutes left for this video. It's taken over an hour to do the video. It said thirty minutes. What's been going on for the last two weeks since I've been sick? You know? So, I still got three more videos. Oh no, it's because I've been because I was sick, and Kenzo was with me on one of the Wednesdays, on the, on Twitch, and it was just bad. It was all to do with the cable, and I mentioned that on the video I have loading. Another four minutes. So within 10 minutes from now, when I get out of the thing situated, I already have the ad end screen put in there. Number 210, podcast number 94 on YouTube Music. What's been going on for the last two weeks? It's been the cable. The cable's fixed. I can look for, hopefully, this one, if it's still on sale, and this one, because that's what I have similar right now in mine, to get that 500 megabytes per second. Yeah, to, I did Twitch yesterday, so it's all perfect. I mean, for me to see myself, it was all cable. It wasn't me doing anything wrong. It was a freaking cable. But Cox Cable fixed it. But I still need a newer modem. New, newer modem for the kitchen and the wireless for me. So, I mean, I was... And now that, uh, yeah, I'm not saying, like I said, I'm not expecting my friend James Von Bolt of Von Bolt and Velvet Chains to follow me because, you know, we message each other on Instagram. But if, and Pink Wasabi is still, after a month, probably mad as hell at me. That's what you get when you fall in love with an adult film star who's going back into the industry because she has a new agent and she's on her Peloton bike and doing all these Pilates to get back in the shape because she had kind of a... But she's... I need to follow her. I'm not getting a Peloton. I'm not doing Pilates, but I really need to get back in the shape. That whole month of... I lost another girl... My grocery manager said, why don't you just fast? I said, I try to. But there's so much good food to eat. And I'm at work, I'm stressing out. I was like, I need to eat something. I got this whole bottle of water. And it's got either lime or lemon in it because you got to drink the dehydrated hydrate thing. I dumped the whole thing on the pepper plant outside because Sunday, my one assistant manager said, what do you want to eat? So, so we had the Jimmy Dean's breakfast bowls. We had uh, Tasty Cake 
peach cobbler donuts. So I had a couple of them and this thing called seven, seven days is like a pastry and a peanut butter and jelly in it. And then we had these uh, pecan pies. They were fresh. And I had my iced tea, which is uh, considered a, a normal Palmer because it's lemonade and iced tea together. Perfect stuff. And then two hours later, my other system manager, we have, we have a Domino's down the corner, which I'm glad the Domino's not a little Caesars because they can order whatever they want. She gets the pan pizza, Domino's pan pizza, which is new. And she gets a Philly cheesesteak with um, yellow pepper. Oh, my God. She said it was very fluffy. I said it's floofy. It was a very floofy pizza. It was pan pizza thick. Philly cheesesteak pizza. Oh, my freaking God. That was amazing. I had two slices. Then a couple more donuts. Then I got home. I had celery sticks with some Hidden Valley Ranch. I had uh, two cheeseburgers. Nice size. With the real ground beef because my place, they cut the beef. You want real stuff, you don't let it sit. You get that beef home, you make it. That's fresh. That's not a Walmart Kroger thing. No, no, no. They're back there every day. That's why they make the big bucks back there. Two cheeseburgers with tater tots. I could not finish the tater tots. I could not even touch the craft shells and cheese. Oh my, I was... No wonder I slept like a baby. I got my tablet, you know. Oh, I got to play my... I still got to play um, um, Candy Crush Soda Saga. I forgot about that. I'm so amazed by everyone popping up and my screen popping up. I know. But I I keep I keep my tablet by my bed. And I pick everything on here. There we go. And it's healing because God knows I need a heal. What did okay? Legend of Traveling Tardis has posted his old video. So I had to like that because I'm part of the show. Uh, Christian, you silly man. Toishes, uh, Chris Feely, lots of healing, lots of healing. I put healing music on, and that's how I sleep. And I, I had, I don't know what I played, but it put me in such a deep sleep. I felt like I was in Las Vegas, and. Think about your woman or the girl you met the night before. Yeah, I couldn't think of Gadget. Couldn't think of Olivia. Couldn't think of M. I don't know. But I was in Vegas. So at least I was halfway. I was there. Didn't see Emily. Didn't see James. Didn't see Lisa. But I'm always playing music. That's, that's the only way I can sleep. I that's how I slept through the tornado warning. The sirens were blowing. We had a tornado touchdown. Did I talk about that? I did not talk about it on YouTube. Only mackerel. Um, I mentioned that on the video, which I'm going to... No issues found. Thank you. I'm going to post it right now. Public. Okay. It's posted. Now I just got to share it. Links to Facebook. Uh, Twitter X, Twix, Instagram, and Tasty Cake on the socials. I can do that. Did I sign in Facebook? Yeah, I'm still signing Facebook. Uh, I saw the so solar clips back in 91. I got the box from Hallmark. I had a pinhole thing. So I did that. Oh my goodness, Cottontail VA. That girl's crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna, I can't look any more of the X because, you know, it's called X for a reason. Um, I did the last time when we were at work, I got the glasses. I had those glasses. I can't find my glasses. Yeah, I can't find anything. Went outside and looked. So I did a thing. 
But this time I just went. What's oh, Ness? Okay. I hope Ness had makes a figure of me. That'd be awesome. Anyway, I did not do it. I I did the ritual, which was supposed to have been done yesterday, but I did before the time. Sand, uh, sand. I was watching Seinfeld. It's all the sand. Salt and saying a mantra, washing hands. I took a shower when it was dark outside. It's like, so I took a shower during the Tasty Cake on the socials. Why is that been social? I could have sworn I, I know I wrote down. Kevo told me the Soch. Why didn't I do that? Edit. Maybe because I didn't type it right. There's my avatar, which Adam made for me. Uh, how do I make the... Um, I'll figure out later. I need, just need to put in the link. I did not... I took a shower during the eclipse. I didn't see any changes, but I made my mantras go on. I feel better. I feel... When I was singing to... Uh, I was singing earlier to um, to Ireland 2K7. He said everything left to right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a whole thing on when I do the talk show. I, because it's going to be a left. And I'm not saying, I'm not. I'm not saying my co host or either, or the person we're going to interview or guest post person we're interviewing who will also be a guest co-host but i make a post on facebook and my one friend who's my I call my predecessor because he was the original doctor when we did the films i came in later as my own thing i took over the idea of the stories i became the technically a third doctor who so i still call him my predecessor he is very much on one end of the spectrum and he'll blame the other side for everything. And whew, every, so the past couple of posts, he would start arguing about, you know, well, they don't know anything. They are wrong. Not giving a decisive answer. His opinion about things is he knows so much. But then I find a friend who stands up and he's very mod right in the middle because you got to look you got to look both ways like when you walk when you go down a one way street you look both ways because you can't trust people you know so I'm mod I have to see all points of view I will moderate everything I play devil ad, devil's advocate on one post because someone made a comment I post right back you know, back and forth back and forth you know? Exactly. And then my one friend, he mentioned for this post, you know, it should be this way. And another one who never posts comments, she did as well, because, because those are two honest people. They made, you know, respectable answers and understood because they're, you know, it's about uh, education, which a new one I also brought up today. It was showing Dr. Phil clip. I saw it earlier, something else. The grading scale, 0 to 24% is an F. So if you don't show up for school or you sit there, don't turn any homework at all, you fail. But the grading scale of an A is a C. If you made a C in the past, which in the past could have even been a D, but then they adjusted it from a 92, 92.5, from a you know, 94 to 92.5, 92 to 90 percentile, 92 percent, 90 to 100 percent is an A, but now like 84 percent to 100 is an A. So a C level student can now be an A level student just to pass school because they don't want to see the schools as failures. But then again, both factors. And I mean, 
I struggled because I did not like school. I learning things that I never would use again. Algebra, where am I going to use that for? Especially algebra two. All these things. I could have been a student based on these numbers nowadays, except for the fact that they put common core math. I got I got people at a pizza place that couldn't figure out I needed 21 cents back. She had to take out her calculator and figure it out. Exactly. It's that's why I was always a comedian. I always the you know, I wanted to entertain people, I want people to be happy. I wanted to make them laugh, make them cry, make them see things. And now I want to make them understand things. That's what the talk show's about. You know, when I'm on the Legend of Traveling Tars, we're talking about Doctor Who, but I don't I don't know all of it. I just collect the toys. I collect everything. You know, Master University collecting, you know, Transformers. You know, I don't know the stories behind it. All these things keep changing. But since I have in the work in the real world, see everything is going on. I am understanding everything and I don't watch news, but I can still read. I can figure things out. And with the research, yes, I'm not fit basically to go on X's for show, but I'm on the super chat. You know, they're friends. I know two of the four because one I constantly work with and the other, he, he popped in. So we finally got a show together. It was hilarious. You know, but I'm, they're very articulated people. It's like, wow. And as Kevo says, you know, they do research. They love to do research and everything. Exactly. That's the thing. It's always, you follow these guidelines and, you know, pass or not. And it's like, I don't need a tutor and I got to be home. Like, So do your homework. Like, I don't understand. I'm going to be watching TV. I want to be entertained. I want to be happy. I want to understand something. You know, how can these people do these things? But my piss poor memory. But I keep joking about it with my late director. When he, when he said to the one person, yeah, doesn't know his lines, can't remember his blocking, can't do anything right. But then that son of a bitch will go up on stage, do everything perfect. He's a fucking asshole. I, the uncle I never had. I have uncles, but the gay uncle I never had. Or I'm the nephew he never wanted, kind of thing, you know. And I keep saying, if, if I forget the time of his death, but it's always late into fall. I did make the video right one time, so I just got to find it again. If I could go back to the point in time, you know, I can't stop him from catching the virus. And of course, died of complications because they all do of complications. No one dies of AIDS. No one dies of COVID. It's something that happened on a side. So that's what goes on. I would just want to be there around the time. It was, it was, I know he's screaming. He's like, what the fuck are you doing here? Like, Paul, shut up. No, you're dying. I know I'm dying. You know, I want to see you one last time. I don't want you to see you. But I want to see you. you know, it's not because I came back. No, look at me. Look at me. I look. I don't look like this. You know what I look like. I came back to see you. you no. Know, I don't want anyone to see me. Like, I know. But still, you know, the man who believed in me, who knew I could succeed, and I failed him. So every time I say he's looking down at me, always shaking his head, always cursing at me because I'm not doing enough. I'm not doing enough videos. I'm not doing enough to describe things. I mean, the last three weeks of Legend of Charming Taurus, I had to do reviews. So I had to do my research. So, and that's what the talk show is going to be about. It's going to be research. I know. Especially that Common Core math crap. It's like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. that's what I said. I said that about the government taxes and I had one who's on earth station, who earth station one, I call him Mike Fuber. No, Mark Fuber. Cause it was a, I had a Christian called Mike Mark. I don't know. Then I just say, Oh, so Mike, every time you're on legend of traveling Taurus, you'll be known as Mark Fuber. So, that's a joke for us. I'm not on his show because 
these people are, are very articulate. So you got Christian, you got Dave, you got Melanie. They know how to do speech. I was never good in speech. I was never good talking in front of people. You know, I'm on stage. I'm a character. But even when I was on stage, I in front of these people, I closed my eyes because I was so afraid of failing. But when I did stage and they're out there, I can see them. I can project. I knew because he said, you project your voice. You go to the back of the theater. And we had the big ass theater. So do you heard me when I sang Phantom of the Opera? You heard me sing it. Uh, music of the night. And I did that for karaoke. She lady kept it on. She kept it on eleven. One of the patrons who I was uh, friends with, he threw something at me. I reached to the back. I reached the front. I, we're in the back. I reached the front doors. She had to turn down the volume. That's the only time she ever did that. Because you don't mess with a theater kid. Because I had, I finally felt it. I felt like I was somebody. And that's what Paul knew. When he picked me for the first film, first play, and he said, I, I should put him as the other character. I looked at him. He goes, don't let it get to your head. And then put me on the other character. I was still not great. They had all these problems of me going through college. You know, college was a hell of a lot easier than school. I, I said before, college algebra, it's all in the teachers. My college algebra teacher, perfect. My summer school geometry teacher, perfect. You know, it's all who teaches. You know, they would try to focus on what they want to teach you. You want to learn. That's the thing. Nowadays, it's just, you know, here, did, 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 did. history is being erased. I talk about that before. Statues are gone. That was a big thing. It's, like, well, it's history. Once it's gone, it's gone. No one's going to look for it. No one's going to remember it. They see, oh, there's a tree. They don't know what was up there. We'll see something was there. What was there? Nothing. People forget. History repeats itself. The taxpaying dollars goes to pay for these, you know, people over 55, you know, have no kids. Why are they paying taxes? And one of them was a friend who has a talk show. He liked it. Didn't comment. But the other ones are start picking and saying, what is that? Well, I have kids. Like, well, I have grandkids. Yeah, I had to do it because two of them are far leftist. Extreme. And they're friends of mine. And they, so I made the counterpoint I would, against him. No, because just can't say anything. But the others, I said, I'm going to be devil's advocate. I'm going to talk about this. You did it oh, about this. But then my new friend, he's in the education. He works at the college that I used to go to. He said, it's important because we had to, education is important. So I agree. And then my other friend never makes comments. She made, she has a child. She needs education. I agree. I would not disagree if they're right. But when someone makes this generalized comment, it's like, no. And when they made a generalized comment about uh, uh, someone breaking into the house, and I said, oh, you can blame the Republicans for that. Like, but then my new friend works in college. He said, I can see both ways. He's a mod. He moderates. They well, I can understand this. I can understand that. And then a friend of mine who's an artist in Orlando area, I don't even know how I can live in that Orlando area, too. That's like dangerous. You know, family comes before thieves. Someone wants to break in your house. You don't. You know, I can think, you know, end them. And I'm the same way. And that's what my, these new comments are. You know, you, do, you know, our is, my property is more important than someone coming in and stealing and could be ending me. Why should I let them, you know, get away with it. No. Our taxpaying dollars are being wasted. See, these are things that I'm gathering materials from. I'm bringing it out again on my Facebook page. Put it on the new on um, well, we'll be on, let's see, we're on StreamYard. So it'll be on YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, Twix, probably TikTok. I can't do TikTok. Issues with him. But, you know, this is something that I've been dealing with. I don't want to, but I understand it. And 
this is the way people understand. Here's the research. I'm just reading everything that you can find online. Here's my opinion. American, Dave, Canada, Mark, Britain, and anyone else like um, John, he's in Orlando. So I would say, I'll take the, I'll take the Asian route. No, if, you, if he'll, he's going to do the American route, I'll do the Asian route. Yeah, I can do that. See, well, from this point, this is how things are done there. So we'll have four different point of views. So it always works because we have all these, our American friends doing this. No, when we do the talk show interviews. Yeah, exactly. I did it because it would not let me log out of Facebook. It actually gathered all my information. And so when I deleted TikTok, it took 30 minutes before I could log out of Facebook. They were stealing my numbers. Like, mm. It's like, um, time scales. He wants to interview me, but I will put him on my, on my talk show. And so you'll pick a letter, A to Z. Well, you know, behind the scenes, you know, pick a letter and say, this is here, do some research and we'll, you know, record this, you know, and we'll look at like three, three or four videos at a time, then send them out later. So I want to bring in time scales. I want to bring in Kenzo. I want to bring in Adam, you know, you guys, you help support me. And you know, this is stuff we all know about. This is stuff people need to deal with. You know, here's our research. And this is what we say. So we'll go back and forth. Like Dave was like, well, we need taxes for the kids because he has a niece. So I understand that. But when you get to a certain point, like you see all these ruffians and in the paper, all the thieves. And that's another one too. Thievery. Oh my God. What's, what's are we doing here? It's, it's sad reality. Nothing's being done about it. It's from the higher ups. That's why my shows are about, you know, I still get the raves and rants. You know, I've changed my little title thing. So, raves and rants, you know. But I want to do Red's reviews. I want to do the DVDs, especially the um, DVDs you don't find out here, you know. You know, there's a, I think it was called The Farmer's Daughters. I was at an antique mall and it had a postcard that said, The Farmer's Daughters. Dun, dun, dun. Adults only. So, okay. I went on eBay. Yes. Time scales. Yes. The man who I'm just talking about. Because time scales wants to interview me. Well, we'll figure out a time. And I want to interview time scales on my talk show. Yes, sir. San Francisco. That's another thing. You know, again, when. When Dave and I can figure out, uh, honestly, I was talking about, first I was talking about Mega J Retro, and I had uh, Ostradamus' toys. He brings in Mega J Retro. It's like, oh, my God, this guy has a, has a huge following, and he subscribed to me. Holy moly. <laughs> so everything, and I can see myself, too. Oh, yes. Time scales, Adam, Kenzo. You know, when well, Dave figures out the time we're going to do this talk show, because he's still working, I'm not pushing him because he said, you know, when it can be done. So if, we'll just say, we have Mark Muncy, who's uh, Eerie Travels. Not Eerie Travels. That's that talk show. That was a TV show. I appreciate it. We got Mark because he's also a member of Tra Legend of Traveling Tardis. So we're going to interview him. Between Dave, uh, Mark Robinson, Candyman, and myself, we're going to do interview him, and then we we'll do you know pick a letter. So we'll do behind the scenes pick a letter. Here's a topic. We'll do quick research. We'll go through there and we'll talk about. It. We're going to try to keep up like a half hour show if possible. Total hippie host. I'm not a hippie host. I'm a hippie host. No, oh. I'm a bit dippy, but I'm 90. Well, if it's me, I am 97% better. I appreciate that. Next uh, Tuesday, Christian is back. So he's promoting everything on his page. Like, look who's back. Like, okay. He has, you know, 
Christians has some health problems. So, um, you know, he, if you go back before Thanksgiving, it was a bad timing. It was, uh, you know, how I don't like negativity. And I will, because I'm only posting the truth. You know, we, we talk about things. We all talk about stuff. Yeah, but he actually did have health issues. That's the honest truth. But um, it was a time of the children in need special, and it was just pure negative. I don't like Davros. And that night, it was the second episode. It was me and Melina were on the first episode, seven, six to seven, and they were on seven to eight. Kevo broke down. He had a he had a, he had a breakdown because it was negativity. He's like. You always say negative things, everything about the Chibno area. And you know, and then the comments were like, oh my God, I'm getting furious about these comments. So when Christian would take time off, right? And it just so happened he, you know, he's better. You know, just, he was going to come in around April 2nd, which I thought we were going to join the son for the, the master, which last week's episode of the master part three, I think that was the greatest one. I'm in clear screen again. Because episode two, I looked like I was in the void and frozen because of stupid cable crap. I thought this was great. I thought the other week was a great episode, but uh, he's come. He's he produced the second episode because Dave was in his car, and he's he's better. He's, he's he got the CPAP machine, which you all know for the breathing. Thankfully, I don't need it. My friend needs it. He's got uh, dialysis, and he's. I'm surprised the VA didn't give him a blasted uh, CPAP machine. Oh, my Lord. But time scales, I had to talk about you. You are you are the echelon. I said a big word. I said a big word. I should be allowed on the... Uh, Earth Station Who and X is for show. I, I'm being up there. I'm watching them. <laughs> you are the upper echelon. That's the word. Oh, dear. Well, that's good. And it's, that's important. Because, you know, our health is, uh, you never know what things happen. The interview with Bruce, um, Jason Lee, the one who was in the crow, the one who would, why was there, you know, in the chamber, even if there's a little piece of paper in the chamber when they're doing a, a shooting for Brandon, thank you, sir. Um, it was a it was a CBS show. It had a photographer and a police officer, and there was a little ball of paper in the chamber, and poof, the paper, a little wad of paper, went right through his temple. And of course, with the um, last thing with, um, I'm never going to names anymore. The movie when it this, where the uh, assistant director was shot because one of the, the people behind the scenes actually put a real bullet in there. No. Don't, you know, just use, that's what sound effects are for. You don't need to you know, make sure everything's and everyone needs to check these things. If you're going to use a real one, I mean, you can, everything looks really Megatron looked freaking real. It was a P38 toy. And I use that. I use another one that I spray painted silver because I couldn't find Megatron at the time to, to redo the scene, which, you know, never really released the movie. So I did it right with Megatron. That was a joke was there's Megatron. Ha <laughs> ha. But then I took another one, it was orange one. I spray painted silver look just for the film shot. You don't need the real stuff. Just 3D print something and do artistically creating it on the computer to look real. None of this has to be done. Baldwin, Alec, when he's being blamed that he was the one that pulled the trigger, but he didn't know. He was just handed a freaking gun. Uh, Mega um, Mega J Retro, who's now a friend of mine, subscriber. He did a video. I was going to watch it, but I was trying to upload the videos. 
Did I upload the thing yet? I was going to... Yeah, I did. It's on my Tasty Cake on the socials. I'm trying to change the name. On the Soch. I got the profile picture. I got Adam's cover photo he made for me. I don't need an avatar. I want... How do... How do I change my name? I don't know how to change... I hit edit. Uh, view as search button page status story archive activity. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. That's a new guy follow me on my Facebook page. He's like, I have a Twitch account organically grown expert, YouTube video advertising expert, and works as freelancer. He's like, whoa, a spammer. But he's on there, so I'm not doing anything wrong. No. I want to change the name to on the socials. I wrote it down too. That's funny. Man, I'll figure out later. I'll go back to my main page. And I got to go to Instagram to post a video link. Uh, oh, my word. Emily's dog just killed a bunny. Ah, Kenzo posted on Instagram. Okay, this girl could be fake. I don't know. Okay. I got to check that later. See what Lisa has to say later. Okay, I'm back to the stream. Okay. Yeah, I, you know, that's the video I just posted about the the solar eclipse. So I think it's too many weird, wacky stuff has gone on. I just don't trust in it. I, I saw it one time. I'm good enough not seeing it this time. I I did my ritual here and there. I, I took a shower during the eclipse because it got dark. And... We get so many things, and with Mega J Retro, he went outside to do it. So that's why he had a hundred views within an hour. So I was gonna trust in what he has to watch later. Okay, Gadget did reply with a funky thing. Not a oh, these women in my life, so crazy. I tell you that. Okay, at least one video's up. That's good. First one to three, one to four videos are up. Uh. Oh, yes. I love watching Mega J. Always talking about things like He Bro might be mad at me because I, I blamed him one time and said, because of him, I got into He Man. I meant that as a joke because I love how he does. He does all these cool things. I said it was his fault. I got into, into He Man, Master Universe stuff. I didn't mean it, it was just a joke. You know, anytime he has something I can buy from him, I will. So I watch this stuff occasionally. But uh, what am I clinging on? Is that my sock? Is that my sock? Yeah, that's my sock. Okay. Uh, time scale, as you say, one of our friends made $14 million last week selling celery clip. Oh. <gasps> Oh my God! Huh? I mean, I got that. I, you know, my pair somewhere. I sent a pair at work, but I wasn't working today, thankfully. I bought this for like a dollar something, and it came in. So he's been sitting on McGruff the Crime Dog, and I wore it for the picture, and I just did. I put it's been posted. Fourteen million dollars. Damn. And I'm going through my other room saying, why do I need all these things? Why did I buy these Power Rangers cross turtles figures when I now have the whole set to have the whole set? And I really just wanted the one set, which I have two of with Michelangelo and April O'Neil. April as the pink ranger. Oh, two of my favorite characters, April O'Neil and the pink ranger. 
but I have the set. It's like, I don't need the set. I wasted my money. All these things were big by Toys R I cut down my thing, Entertainment Earth. I just need to wait for one more to come in and a swoop. Because I have my my uh, Dinobots Extreme idea to have painted. Either have uh, Corey from Makeshape Create do it or my friend Everett up in North Georgia do it. I still got to send that to Corey. My God. 14 main. So, yeah. Wow. I see. I can't think of things like that. It's, it's hindsight. You know, this is, he's been sitting on my desk for how long now? And I got to paint him up to look like Larry with the, the purple, purple jacket and the, the, the sash scarf, you know, the light purple. And then, draw a line for belt and make it look like he has a belt. Because the picture I'm looking at, I was in the freaking hot with a light bulb in the shed, sweating my brains out. But the next night, my hair looked like this. Mirror image. You know, it looks like this. But... So, basically just, you know, just a purple and a purple and paint on a belt. And I got Larry. Um, for I wish I had that mentality. I mean, I can honestly, I swear, when I get through all my stuff, I'm gonna post it on eBay. I will, you know, post it to you know, friends first. So, not friends and on uh, not Facebook f uh, marketplace crap. You know, that's took chances. You never know. But my friends, I'll post it here. If you're interested in what I'm selling right now, you know, I got it. Otherwise, I'm going to stick it on eBay, stick it like a dollar minimum bid, and just watch it move. Because, you know, honestly, nothing I have here right now I'm going to want to sell immediately. But um, in time, in time, everything has to go. Um, I just got it because it's Thomas. Yeah, Thomas happy. But I'll say, you know, what's anything here that I want to just sell immediately? No. Everything I have, I want to just hold on to just a little bit longer. I'm looking through clothes. Like, I don't want to give up my Hawaiian shirt that I look like Quagmire. All right. Giggity, giggity. No. The crying figure. I don't want to give him up either. Um, um, uh, I don't want to give up the droids yet because I want to see if they have the gift set. Oh, here's one. Okay. I had this custom. Oh, thank you. Oh, many times over. I I was talking to uh, earlier with Ireland 2K7, who found me through algorithms. He's in the marketing. He's, I had the voice of radio, which I did. You know, back in the day, I always wouldn't be in radio. But, you know, the way they treat radio personalities, oh, my God. And I can sing. And he said, you know, sing without the music. And I can do that. And I sang Come Monday because we just lost Jimmy Buffett. I sang some lines of Rainbow Connection. When I did karaoke, I sang as Elvis Presley. I did the Beatles, more like John Lennon, because it's easier to sound like John Lennon. Oh, I can sound like each Beatle. You know, it's about the voice and everything. Oh, well, I can do anything impossible. I can do anything possible, but, you know, it's uh, all these voices. I like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden in the shade. I've been talking a bit, so I'm thinking. I sang Nights in White Satin with two bikers, older bikers and their women. And they're like, you are too young to be singing to know the words of that song. 
I mean, it's karaoke. Man. For me, like, you're too young to know that song. And then the next night, because I did all the stressing and straining and moving those speakers, which were freaking eight feet tall, I was singing Cool Change by Little River Band. I lost my voice. I like time for. I lost my voice for a couple days, and then for two months it sounded like I smoked all these packs of cigarettes every single day. <laughs> I know that's gonna be everything good and everything, and I I went to a a scam artist. Um, telemarketing thing which people were calling in the voice viva las vegas baby i think it's it keeps us entertained because we can do voices i've i listen i go on instagram these people are doing voices of all these things like oh my god i wish i could do as many voices as he did i did carl from uh, jimmy neutron or is that my llama? Uh, my, I used to do Carl very easily, but now it's been so long. But when I hear him do the voice, it's like, oh my God, that's hilarious. I brought back memories. You're in the voice of um, Joe Swanson, that actor. Always, you know, he always has eyes squints or anything. He does all these voices. Of course he did. Um, I I had to really get into Gilbert Godfrey. It's very, very difficult anymore. But I sang Rainbow Connection. I sang the first verse of Rainbow Connection earlier. I'm not sure if uh, Osmosis was still here or Jay, but uh, Ireland 2K7 was here, so I sang it to him. Is that David Putty? Yeah. All right, I'm Putty, yeah. Seinfeld is on Comedy Central now, so we're watching that every day. Can't go wrong with Seinfeld. It's hilarious. Yeah. I try to do his voice. A couple times, it has to be in that you know, range. I, I've done it. Like, you know. Hey, Peter. Oh, yes. It's just, some, it was entertaining. It was 10 years worth of stuff, but it seems to be running very quickly and never seeing the same episodes again. But here's one figure. So oh really? Exactly. I remember listening to ZZ Top singing Viva Las Vegas. I sang oh when I had the record playing back in the day. Oh and that's that's one of the songs I wanted to sing if there was a slightest chance of um James Von Bolt with Lisa Foils. You know, their band of um, the adversaries. I, I said to James, you know, you know, because he he I said to him, can he play a banjo? He said, I cannot, but Lisa can. I even said those songs, like I could sing uh, Rainbow Connection as Kermit the Frog. And it'd be the adversaries featuring Tasty Cake one night only. He didn't reply to it. You know, you know I'm dealing with a, a guy who's writing, producing, singing, doing the guitar. He's he plays a mandolin. He was you playing the mandolin. He's going. He's playing Benny the Benny Hill theme. Oh my god! He can't play banjo, but he could play the freaking mandolin. Because the pipe dream. Well, the other pipe dream was winning the lottery and go see all the girls and. Getting over to England to see my brother and my sister in law. Then we head to Scotland to see my two acres, my two square feet of land with my tree in there. So I can say, Look, I'm I'm a laird. I own two square feet of land in Scotland. That's my tree. And since he's Scottish, I'm Scottish too. He adopted me, so I'm English and Scottish because he says I'm yeah, I'm his brother, so that's that makes it all worthwhile. But I remember that's one of the songs I was, if it was possible, with two guitarists and a drummer. I don't think I'd be able to sing in Viva Las Vegas, but 
Hurt as Johnny Cash. A Beatles song, uh, Rainbow Connection. I had the list. I still got the list. Man. List of notes of what I'm going to do for the talk show. I mean, uh, no overnight parking. Now, people still at overnight park. I mean, uh, my list of what accessories I'm going to do when I make the rest of my Funko Pops. Hey. Could never find anything it's like when I was did the little scene on last week's episode. I took out my fanual unit fanual nineteen seventy four, and I said trying to find the name of the title of the story, the Axon Child, written by a certain person, and illustrated by Ness Head, friend of mine, and um, words by Jim Watkins, also friend of mine. I sent the I sent a picture. I told Ness, and he took his camera, and he filmed that scene. <laughs> he was just filming in front of the in front of the computer screen. That just that scene of me talking about about him and Jim, and he put on his his page like, I still have the same amount of friends though. Like, I like some of these Ness head friends too. That'd be awesome. Everything I have. I got lottery numbers. That's not lottery numbers. But in here somewhere, I wrote down the list of songs I could sing. Did I? Yeah. In my head. The pipe dream. And then Pink Wasabi would be there because I invite her and she would forgive me and all is well. But knowing that she's going back into the... Um, See, time scales, you are the man. You know everyone. So it's going to be an honor to be on your show. We just figure out the time thing. But now that after two weeks, I'm feeling better. My energy is back up. You know, yes, my, my radio voice is back. My, I'm still mean at work because you know, people should be able to know that. Customers just irritate me. Uh, I'm feeling better. If I can get that up too, it'd be nice. If Emily can get on the Peloton and do Pilates because she's gonna have to get back into shape to do all those dirty scenes with all these guys, then I can lose the ten pounds I put on because you know she ended our friendship on and then I can get back to where I wanted to be it because I can. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go through this stuff. Even though I did very little cleaning today in the other room. Yeah. She was. When I met her, on, I didn't know she was. I saw all oh, these pictures. Oh, beautiful girl. Oh, my gosh. She's a beautiful girl. She's younger than me. That's all I'm saying. I don't reveal my age. Not even if I get an AARP. I did not say I have AARP. I'm just saying if I could get AARP. Anyway. Yes, she got a new agent. She's going back in May. She also took Latin when she was in high school. She's a Gemini. So I wrote down her birthday somewhere. Oh yeah, May 31st. You mess with someone's head. She's a mutable sign, so she should know. I always fall for the unattainable. And when I do fall for someone, she's now with someone else. Anyway. You're such a young Young little, you're such a young lad. 46 is nothing, my boy. <laughs> you're only going to be 46. Mm. I forgot my brother's age. And he's, and I still got to figure, I still got to send out the customs that send him uh, 
that figure from Disney World, uh, the Hammerhead figure exclusive, which was only available at Star Tours. I, I haven't held it since January. <laughs> and the stuff I got to send to Corey. I'm going to do a video for Corey. I'm going to do a video, link Corey in and say, this is what shape, make shape crate is going to make for me. This figure I had made, you know, this was a primeval James figure. And since the original head was not, you know, the original head was not made, he took the hard no head and added the, the hair and the hat. And I paid for it. Because I wanted to, no, I'm older than I th uh, feeling the oldness for me. Oh yes, oh yes. I still have. Uh, um, there was something I was gonna. S I saved on Facebook, so I got to. Someone I know made. I used to have it up there. The um, he made a jade pagoda, Tardis. It was green. He's his new one is still green. It's not green. Jade can come in blue. It was a blue jade pagoda. And that's what I used in my sting. I bought it from him because he didn't like it. He made a new one. So I have his page. I got to go through my favorites and send you a link because there's one of them. I, I want his new version of the jade pagoda. The other th other ones like, don't really matter, but that was a cool one. But this guy, uh, copycat toys on Instagram because he had some figures and... It was, you know, the first one. You know, I had this. This is the pilot episode of the first Doctor. There was a dude who made customs of all the figures. I I was at work, and I was on eBay, and the computer was still working properly, so I paid a lot of money. It was a big purchase because it was of all thirteen Doctors. It included the original version of an unearthly child figure. But the uh, and the second doctor, he did make second doctor. A third doctor, which my brother made for me already, so I have two of them. So I I, I really got to find these stuff. I can't sell off what my brother made for me, but when the other dude, I'm gonna because when Richard sees it, he knows which TARDIS he made for me. He made the eighth doctor's TARDIS. He knows which third doctor he made for me and regenerated. So most likely, I'm gonna have to go through the figures. He made everyone regenerate figures, and some of them were just you know already there. The fourth Doctor, which was the third release, I have the original release. The fifth Doctor, you know, that was already released. Sixth Doctor, which was a Toys R Us exclusive, I never took mine out of package, and made the customs all in there. And I have my other ones. There's certain ones, right? And I found him, and I said, "Could you make me a first on a on, on pilot episode of An Unearthly Child. He did. He used the original head from Hardnell, the original who had and everything. And somehow it just looked better. I mean, the, the rings are there. It's, it's hard. It's, he's got a pinky ring too. I don't know where pinky ring on the left hand. Or is it where a pinky ring on the right? But you compare each you compare both doctors he again he used the original head this one's the you know for what it's worth it is there's only two of these made i think co comic uh copycat toys made one for himself i'm sure he did so it's most likely there are only two of these figures that exist his own and mine but the other one with the original head it just looks better. I don't know. Well, it's, it's honestly it looks better. And it's the same body. So this custom first doctor pilot episode, which I, th I think, I don't even think it's original head. I think he sculpted the head too, because you can tell by the eyes, right? I guess that's why the other one looks better because it was original head on there. But I keep saying this one's for sale. You can get the pilot episode 
of an unearthly child, first doctor, right here. I even if I, I don't remember what I paid for it because I don't remember anything, but he can go like that. If I think it's if someone wants to buy it, you know. Because I I paid a lot more for the other one. I tell you that because. I wanted everything the other guy made exactly, everything across the board. And I think I have the picture on my Facebook fan page, Taste the Cake on the Socials. I can't figure out how to change it to the Socials. S O S H S. Socials. That's what Kevin wanted. It made sense. So things like that. Um, those are the turtle stuff I just haven't opened yet. Five hundred year diary. Like, do I really need the five hundred? Yes, I kind of do need the five hundred. Five hundred year diary. Just bought her. Just bought the DeLorean. Just bought Kit. Everything is in boxes. I just, I just need to get rid of the stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to do a video again. You know, I have this prototype. There's only two made. Sell it off. Put money in the bank because there's always going to be something else we're going to buy. We're always about buying something else. So that's the thing. Know that what's coming out is going to be crazy. And Jay said that his uh, his attorney is still in customs. What the heck? Mine's been in Orlando since whenever. And that's the thing. If I won the lottery, yes, I bring it up here, and I don't know where I can put it, but I need to be up here. And I would have. Definitely spent uh, $500 on getting my friend Olivia a camera she wanted for her birthday. But, you know, I mean, we just became real friends, per se. I spent $40 worth of stuff for it. I got four things to get the free shipping through Amazon. And with the tax included, it came out 40 bucks. So she got she got four things she wanted. I spent in the enough to get free shipping. Yeah. Jason Canada? Wow. I didn't know that. Because I'm sure I know I I'm sure I got King Grayskull because he came in a separate package from what I could see. And of course at the time when I ordered it, you know, I oh, um, there's this big ass box in my friend's living room. Bring your hat, okay? Okay. You have to bring one back. Oh, sorry. It's all right. I still got to post that video. It's pretty good. Uh, wow. I. I think my friend Dave is now Berta. I can never remember because I can you know, remember names or anything else. It takes me forever to think of anything. Wow. That's because Adam, I remember you, you were on, I went to someone's site. And you made a comment that you did get in the item that he sent to you. You finally got it in. I was like, wow. That was a, a thing with Entertainment Earth. You know, they, my, uh, I ordered the McFarland figures, right? And I put the physical address for the post office because that's what I'm paying for. But the UPS, one division does not see as the post office being open. They say it's closed. So I'm having issues getting things. 
And one thing did not make it to him to me. Didn't matter if he had it, but it was a nice it would have had. Nice how I got it again. Another one had to drive to the other city to get it because of my little tarnishes. Another one did it to me. The magazine with um, pink wasabi, which was a good price, didn't make it to me. I'm hoping it went back to the seller. I, mean, I love the girl. The girl, she's younger than me. I can say that. She's no spring chicken either, but you know. Uh, well, she's younger than you, Kenzo. Um, that didn't make it. I don't know what happened to it. I still got 30 more chocolates to go. Oh my God. So entertainment earth. I kept saying, you know, where's my stuff? Where's my stuff? It's been two months. I finally got it after McFarlane toys sent me the same superpowers figures. Like, so I got a second set of superpower figures. Uh, the ones from entertainment earth, when they finally got to me, the plastic separated from the card and some kind of like the Superman, it, it, the little card sticker got ripped off. It's like, well, I would have cut it, you know, just have the card back and sell the card back. But this, like, it tore off the little bit of paper. It, it got delayed for two months in somewhere, and that's what happened. Another time was if one thing went to FedEx issues because it went sent to the to my PO box. But I was able to pick it up. It was, uh, I don't know what it was anymore. But I, I know where FedEx was. You just drive down the interstate and I got it. But UPS, it said that I requested it to be sent to the UPS place to pick it up. I got lost. And when I came back, I said, oh, there it is. And then when I went the other way, I said, oh, I'm home. She was a cool chick, too. Not into them. Hardware on the face, but you know, she was cool. I say I got lost, and there was like, oh, yeah. it was that, um, the Wonder Woman it was either Wonder Woman or the the equivalent that Marvel made. I think it was the Wonder Woman figure, the ultimate Wonder Woman, the one that was, uh, if you bought from McFarlane Toys, if you bought six of them, you get the comic book version of her. It was already sold out. So that was the one. That was like, oh, it went to the UPS place. And then for Entertainment Earth, to, I kept saying two months. And they finally sent it to me after I bought the damn things. So, so I canceled most of my orders to Entertainment Earth, just waiting for the, um, the legacy core figures for the Dinobots. Which I'm still waiting. Swoop is still in back order, so which would make my third version, which I wanted to based on TF Source. They have we had the generation two colors, so red, green, purple. So I figure, you know, these two are bluish, these two are reddish, these two are greenish, kind of thing. And then with my Dinobots Extreme, you'd have that tiger stripe Grimlock with yellow and look and you get tf source had a couple different colors for the other ones so like, well red and green were also swapped with the other two between snarl and sludge so i can just swap the colors for them he'll be that color he'll be that color and the new guy would just be something similar with extra parts i mean like hello hi toy mama i've been just Bung and Adam and Kenzo and time scales for the longest time. It was my cable. It was the freaking cable. I can see everything again. I am so happy. The virus has left my body. I'm 97% better. So I'm like, excellent. I got uh, Mega J Retro. Subscribe to me. Oh my God. Thanks to Ostradamus Toys. It's been a wild night. I'm so happy. I'm happy to be on live again. Because Adam the one said I should go back on live. It was Pink Wasabi told me to go on 
Twitch live. So I'm still hoping one day she will forgive me. But with Adams, they told me to go live, so I'm going live. I'm so I'm happy to be back here. I did my Twitch Twitch live yesterday was good. And everything was clean and clear. Twitch live on Wednesday at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Daylight Saving Time. Kind of thing. So I'm... When I first started to do the live, the image was backwards on my side. When when you watching it, it looks just like this. Everything is perfectly fine. But for me, it was a mirror image. And I couldn't figure it out. And I really didn't have anyone alive. Main things I did in live was Facebook Live, which after being put in Facebook jail so many times, and I said, screw you, Facebook. You're off my tablet. I do Instagram Live, so Kenzo sees me every so often. And Christina did too that one night. So I was happy with that. Oh, give me a second. Uh, you want to text her? Um, there. Just go back. Huh. Just had to go back to... I don't know what that screen happened, but it's all fine. What deal there? What? Uh, there. We have magic hat. Yes. <laughs> I'm afraid to get a smartphone if it has all these issues. Thank you, Kenzo. I appreciate you. Oh, yeah, that was amazing. You see if you find crying or anything. You know? <laughs> I haven't looked in two weeks, but you know. appreciate you, Kenzo. And Kenzo's going to make me an award. I'm sure I have 105 people now. Let's see. Uh, well, I have a page up. I still got to load the other videos. Let me just check your uh, channel. 104 subscribers. Oh, my God. I got... Uh, Mega Manchild says hasn't subscribed. Toy Polo hasn't subscribed. Toy Shoes hasn't subscribed. Hebrew hasn't subscribed. <laughs> Mr. Peoples I know, they just they catch me on my Facebook page. I post everything on Facebook. That's why I got the two videos I've done for snacks on there. So I got to thank you, sir. Appreciate you. Yeah, 104. I'm wow. That's when Kenzo's gonna take care of me with a special little award. Which I'm gonna move my splash mound picture. Probably put it up higher somewhere. I really need to put it somewhere. It wasn't the last time it was the last time we went. I think it was a year later they shut down. Splash Mountain. Never been on it. So I use that picture constantly as a profile picture, him and I. We'll circle. I can't circle it. So I also put it somewhere, but I I said to him, you know, man, the picture's like eight, eight and a half inches tall. So if you want to make the award about that tall, people can see it. I'm, I'm okay with that. <laughs> and I told Jay, like, you know, his, you know, with his backdrop, that's why I wanted, so I followed him. Now, this was a tray, and my mom said, it was for $2, and you can use it to display stuff. Uh, so I did. I just went from flat to vertical, horizontal to vertical, and I just put the figures on there. So I'm, I'm happy with it. So everything is just worked out. I'm going to do some reviews. I talked about my 3PO on the – did I? Yeah, I did. But I got everything going on, you know, the labels, you know, Kenzo stickers. There you got the second one came in the mail. First one got lost. 
the second one you sent me the is that the stickers <laughs> with the letter you know congrats on the hundred subs so he's up there here's my list of the rest of the Funko Pops I'm going to make. And, of course, my poster of Von Bolt. Whatever the boss says to do, I do. So I'm, I try to do some cleaning today. At least I made a little pathway. Threw away three boxes. Moved all my Masters Universe figures on another, another level. As I said, you know, like this is for sale. This, this, oh, there's only two made of him. It's a custom figure, the pilot episode of The Unearthly Child from Doctor Who, William Hartnell. I still have all four of those uh, crossover Power Rangers turtles, which I bought f that I don't even need. I bought them because they were on sale. And all I wanted was one of them, which I do have two sets. So I have the one with Michelangelo as the Yellow Ranger and April O'Neil as the Pink Ranger. That's all I wanted. But because they're on sale, I grabbed the other ones. Like, why did I do that? And then I get flustered and frustrated. Like, I have no room. I got to go through these drawers of stuff I packed in there. Yeah. I didn't need I in here one of these drawers well, the bottom drawer is candy I hope no little creepy crawly went in there because that's a lot of candy I went through I got DVDs in there I, was, I got DVDs behind me I got DVDs in the other room that's what I want to do one day I'll just be in my room because that's one of my DVD players Blu-ray DVD player that was it, yeah. And watch a movie. You know, even though it's an old movie, it's just, you know, this is what I had to say. Like, we did the reviews for The Master. Last week's review, part three, I love that thing. You know, I loved it a lot more. I'm sorry. That was just, it was fun. It was just, you know, battles, battleship troopers and aliens, you know, going on as Good time, good memories, fun. That's why I gave it a, a 10. And as uh, Candyman was told me, meant to say 9.9, .9, but I gave it a 10. Yeah, it wasn't a good Mark Robinson impression, but uh, maybe that's a good thing. I don't want to, you know. Anyway, I want to do reviews on other things. I, I told Kenzo on... Instagram, I got to look at the list, which I have Instagram up right now. So I still haven't focused on. Yes, give me that uh, serious relationship. I told him what I wanted to do. She liked the message. She didn't respond. Ray of Collecting Classics still. His birthday's coming up. I could check because uh, they tried to mail Cyclone to the post office on Saturday and it already closed, so. I should begin that soon. Ray bought Cyclone from Germany. And I told him throughout the, you know, when I was on the chat on Adam, on Adam, your show, and I was, you know, I was waiting for it. We were all waiting for it. And then he said he bought it from Germany. I said, dude, I said, it's your wedding gift. Use it for trading purposes because he always buys something and he ends up losing out because he traded with someone. So, you know, uh, I got to do videos of owning the Scottish land of the tornado. I forgot about the tornado pushing Von Bolt to get the new stand out and show how I'm going to paint these figures and everything else. Review the book I was in, uh, painting reviews. Wow, things I don't remember. I got to write everything down. So much, but someone said, I need to dig back here. I need to, I need to dig through what I just put in here. I'm my desk alone. I mean, I got my list of Funko figures, which I need for when I 
when the two come in, I'm going to go to, see, I ordered one for the master. That was the 20th one, basically. Because the last idea was, so it was number 20. But I have 13 already. One I'm waiting for May. Number 20 is the master, so I gave him a goatee. And I gave him the pieces. Number 19, number 18 are the same as this one, just different paint jobs. Michael Amagon, I know Kenzo saw me. I can't remember if it was Adam or Timescales. You saw me. I tried to remove the head from the body of the Ninth Doctor, but I just need hot water. So, that's, so I figured I'll make another figure, just a generic body or something I can do similar. This hair or the other hair, and just boil Ninth Doctor's head off the body and pop this one on. So there, I have the figure that I was in the movie. The doctor. The doctor. That was the doctor, yeah. That was Michael Amigo. Now I'm confused. I really should have wrote down the body. It says, Master, Lord President, VP of the GOG, Michael Amagon. That's that one. Doctor. Who? Which? Oh. The other one I had just made and layered. It goes a golf club and a plant. I wrote down one for the doctor. I wrote down the accessories. Drumsticks and a guitar. But I have no idea what the figure is. I wrote down doctor. Oh, I know. It's a tuxedo. Tuxedo. If I can write it clearly. T-U-X. Because it was on marriage on marriage ones. Uh, they had it. And then they sold out. So I just had to get another one just like I have over there. But painted with a black tie. Because he was wearing a tuxedo. Yes. The tuxedo was a black tuxedo with a red tie and a little red you know, napkin thing. So all I had to do is paint black and or maybe white. I didn't wear one. Didn't have a little um, thing on my pocket when I did the filming. But I had a black tie. I wore a tuxedo. It led to two different scenarios. So I get another one pretty much like that. Did I have my glasses? I, I got to look at my pictures. But when the time comes, I'll look at the pictures because I had the picture taken of me. I had the tie undone. But the outfit I wore as the doctor was a tuxedo. So I just, that one, put a black tie, and there I am. I... Hmm. I want to pop hands off. Nope. Cannot pop hands off. So I'm going to boil and pop his head off. That's why I got him like this because they're like, you know, do, 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 do. Lucy, 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 Exorcist Ninth Doctor. So, boil and pop his head off. He has a banana hand. Eh. So, put my head on this body, and that's Michael Amagon, who was the bad guy, who pretended to be the doctor. So that'll be that. And then the master is this one. I'm going to paint everything black. Paint the paints, paint the pants black. Paint the color black. Everything painted black. Because I couldn't find one with a hoodie. Or a cape. No, I added, I bought a cape, an accessory. So he has a cape, everything black, with a goatee. So that'll be him the master. That works. So I figured it all out. Okay, that works. Notes. Always good to take notes. So, okay, good. 
Could take some therm therm of th theraflu too. So the ideas are always there. It's getting rid of things I don't need. First doctor, did it work? No, it didn't work. Um, how about this? Come on, get some chocolate. Oh, I still got 34 chocolates left. Oh, my God. Um, the Spirit. I have the whole set of the Spirit figures from the failed movie. I got an extra Spirit figure, loose, and that's what I have on my display. But I don't need the entire set. The entire set is carded. That's for sale. The Turtle Power Rangers combination. That's for sale. I want to keep the He-Man figures most I can. I things. I need more paper in my printer. I, I have this little piece of paper in case I need to write something down on. I have this receipt because it said eleven eleven on it. I wrote down the tornado. Oh my god, I forgot about that completely. See, I don't. I was so happy with just trying to do everything, I forgot to mention I'm going to do the video tomorrow or something. We had we had here a tornado warning the other day. It was the cold front, right? The cold front came through and we had a tornado warning. It rained at night, then it started raining again. It's like no, I say three o'clock in the morning. I heard it. It's like, I'm going back to sleep. I wake up. The clock is blinking. Power went out. It turns out the siren went off. I didn't hear it. Much like I slept through an earthquake in California back in 91. There's a little tremor. I didn't hear the siren go off. My coworker said he lives in a, a tra RV park, trailer park, right? He heard the siren go off. His neighbor said, get in the car. So he grabbed his bag. You know, he always had to have that emergency bag. Mine is buried under so many things right now. I looked at it and go, I can't deal with it right now. I do have an emergency bag full of stuff. Just the imperative things. Yeah, my social security card is on my computer desk, on my computer stand. So I know where it is all the time because I don't want to dig into that thing, right? They go around there. I know where it is. And so... Their location, they go zoom, Chevron is closed. So they had to go a little bit further. So um, two less than two miles to the pilot gas station, open 24 hours. The doors are locked. People are banging on the door. We need help. We need help. Nope. He sees a fire truck zooming by. And he's about, let's see, from where we work. See, for me, it takes two, two minutes. And so from where he is, um, he's about, I'm, I'm two miles. I'm two miles from there. He's about three miles from work. So he ends up like less than two miles to get the pilot. And then Publix is over the bridge. It's five miles away from me. That's where tornado landed. And it went straight across. It went uh, east. Because of it, because the way it says, well, we're, we're like, we're on North Highway 49. I'm on North Highway 49. But the way it is, it says North, but it's technically West because if we go North, it's going to Atlanta. So, so I'm going to say South 49, but most likely East because we follow the interstate. Interstate goes that way, so it's to the right. It went all the way to the Air Force Base. And that's a long pathway. Five miles away from me. And then... My friend Dan, he lives, uh, 
say, I'm here and I'm here and Luke is here. Dan's over there. He's across the bridge. So he's, so he wouldn't know it too, but he said, remember when he had the skies and it was like a line across the sky was light and dark. If that went down, that would have been an F5. Closer to me than him. Another time beforehand. So our business is here. The church is about um, a mile away from us. We saw this ginormous funnel right above the church. A mile from where we were working at the time. A mile from where we were working. Ah. Ah. Oh yeah, I remember that one. I I got him as a Funko. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get that one. I got the five inch ones with the big bulky displays because they were part of the gift set, so I got the blue and the red. Yeah, I got him. I saw him and said, you know what? I got to get him. I like blue. W D W D. It was the 2021 fall convention. I got those plastic cases I wear with Amazon. I should have like put them in there. So box kind of like loopy. See how those funky cases work. And from my Rubik's Cube and from my Darth Vader. But for and you look at it mm. oh. fall down, go boom. He fall down again. There, sit down. Move over there. I got this at the uh, Nollies. It's so funky, weird. It's only had Superman. Mini metal figure. They didn't have the other ones. Or they didn't have Wonder Woman. You know, I love me some Wonder Woman all the time. But I got Super Ryan. I've had him. He's, you know, okay. Because it was cheap. That's why I like Superman. Like, eh. Something, you know, I don't, definitely don't need them, but for sale, easily. I still have my fidget spinners. You know. yeah. This one's cracked. That's why it's going faster. See, there's a the crack is there. The crack is there. Krakatoa. But when I got my Batman one, oh, yes. Oh, nice and cool. I need to turn the air conditioner on. Hot lights. It's like, yay. So how do I turn the fan on? It's good. I'm sweating some more. If we didn't, we wouldn't be able to go to the bathroom. Uh, yeah, that was um. This time, I actually taking medicine like Theraflu, um, Dayquil with honey. Oh, honey. Ooh. Oh, bother. It does taste quite good with honey. Everything tastes quite good with honey. Ooh. 
and the Dayquil, Nyquil, that helped me because I don't, I stopped, like I said, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, last week, I felt lousy, but I didn't cough when I was sleeping. And when I had the, the one set of music, I went to try to play it again. And since I didn't, I had like, well, nine hours sleep. Because I was on last night watching Emily play World of Warcraft. And since you can see who's following you on Twitch, you know, every time I look and she has a sour push look on her face, I, she sees that I'm on her. I just, I just feel it. When she looks into the camera and sees me, and I know she's seeing me and she's got a look of what more can I do, woman? I'm sorry I yelled. I'm sorry I didn't believe you were on OnlyFans. I mean, who's going to believe I'm on OnlyFans either? But it tells you to go here. And, you know, it tells you to go to YouTube. Because those, I'm not paying for anything. Look, I'm, I don't not even know. Oh my, I don't even know how much I'm going to pay on my credit card this month. I just, you know. Last time we were talking back and forth, I said, well, do you want me to subscribe here or subscribe on the other one? I'm going to subscribe here. And then our moderator gave me a free month. Well, he gave me two free months, but he changed it when we had that fight. All I want to know is, you know, what was my name? She calls me on Twitch. That's you. Know, you all know my name. Why couldn't she say it? You know, when you get someone as, you know, not based in reality like I am all the time, it's kind of like, it happens. I mean, I paid more attention to the cats more than to my ex-girlfriend because they didn't have any issues. And as I, I can talk to her anytime, I can see her anytime. I don't see the boys, you know? And when I, honestly, when I went to see them in January, our, the orange cat, Loki, he was like, but then I spanked him and he started, she scratched me and then he started doing the fist thing. And then she said, don't do that and encourage him. I think Comet said something to him, you know, because cats do that. And he's went, like, wow. Because I know he didn't listen to, he didn't listen to her. He listened to his, his older brother. Comet said, you know, I said, don't do that to daddy. I went, mm, I'm sorry. And I was like, a change. No, I never seen him like that before. So when I first met him, you know, when he was like, I can do anything I want. I'm the baby. It's like, mm. But when he acted like, I'm sorry, daddy, attitude, like, wow. Because when I, and when Comet saw me, like, he was in the doorway going to the bedroom. He's giving me the look of, you're leaving again. Say, bye, Comet. You're leaving me again. So we went to the convention. And I was like, oh, my heart sank. But I came back. And then Loki was like, hi. You pet me. That's why I was had to be with the boys. Because they were like, I haven't seen them in years. And I just felt bad. I didn't want to see them. I didn't want to break their hearts. Uh, so when Comet did that, but when Loki was like so happy, he's like, oh, you come in to see us? You came back? It's just, wow. But she's with uh, an old friend who can take care of her. There's a lot of health issues going on between all of them. Like, you know, I heard something move. I don't know what did.
I gotta take this. Oh. So, because we're all adults here, because no one under 17 can see this, I got this movie. I saw there's a postcard at the uh, the antique mall. I said, I'm going to need to look up that movie. It was on um, eBay. I missed it. And then... Then it was a higher price, and I went to dis- deep discount DVD. Is like, okay. It's uh, it's a nineteen seventies controversial classic. Kenzo's worried about turning 46. I got to tape this thing up there. So, I buy so many obscure, unique things. It's just crazy. It's all. I still got 34. I just. Because when you have bipolar disorder, you buy things you don't ever need. And you usually buy multiple things because you forget you have them. And that's a big problem with me, finding out that I had two of the same DVD sets of the 12th Doctor. And I don't know where I put the one from the 11th Doctor. I know I bought it. I bought it separately because I couldn't find it at Walmart. It's... And then they get frustrated and say, I can't move anything around here because I have too much stuff. So anything on sale, and hopefully those that monitor that um, hopefully that modem and the wireless for myself is on sale. Put it on top there, I remember. Because that's the savings of $75, but that was last week at Best Buy. Because I want to get this maximum speed I can so I can have 500 megahertz. So I'm not on Legend of Traveling TARDIS having moments of freezing again. So I did have a bit last week too. The picture was crystal clear like this, but I, I want to get the full effect because the most we're paying is the cable. The second is the cell phones. AT&T, you suck. But, you know, if if the corporate store manager scumbag didn't do what he did and uh, insult and make the associate who did everything beyond compare quit, I would have had a $400 smartphone doing everything doing video shorts but you know same old thing now where I put my tape oh I still retain my flip phone which I remember still plugged in over there I need I put on the side of my bed because I can't see my alarm clock can you picture that Need more tape. Wow, I'm almost three hours again. 
Everyone here is spectacular. Wow. I'm having such a great night. Uh, tomorrow, there's nothing for me but making videos. Still got three videos to post, which a half hour video took an hour to load. So, okay, I can uh, save the other three videos for tomorrow. I can do one more video because I forgot about talking about the tornado. So everyone that's, uh, so I do the, I have this under podcast as well. I forgot since I'm, my podcast is on YouTube music. I'm happy with that. Only reason I knew to bother looking up is because the boss man of James Von Bolt said to promote the band so I still got to promote the band further but you know I'm happy to be back on you know happy with my crew tonight you know, Adam you were the one that told me to do YouTube live I did it I'm happy with it Twitch thing is like eh Kenzo follows me on Twitch. And thankfully, it was a clear video today. So I still do it. I do it for an hour. Happy with it. Me too, brother. Me too. And I can see everything. That kind of freaked me out. I said, how am I going to do these videos without seeing what I'm doing in the background? But it worked. Everything's cool. You know, convincing Emily to watch. I only got seven moves left in 34 squares. 30 more pieces of chocolate. Oh, my Lord. This is a hard game. But everything is everything comes in time. But, wow, three hours. But everyone came in late. He's like, well, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm happy with this. Everyone comes in, I'm going to... Entertain my fans. That's what it's all. So it's all about. Nine o'clock. Okay, that means I got. I'll still be awake for another hour or so because I'm I'm old. Leave eight thirty in the morning. Appreciate you, sir. I got four videos done, one unposted. Gonna make another video. Have four videos for tomorrow since I'm not gonna be on Legend Charming Tardis because Christian's back. Christian's back. But as I said earlier, you know, when Kevo just couldn't take it anymore, he just had. And that's why we were on our own. The next few episodes, we had all these, we had people on, on the chat saying negative things. And I would, you know, you know me. <laughs> I don't like that. We're here to entertain. We're not here for trolls. And we still have our review. We still have the numbers there. High, high numbers on Facebook. YouTube, I'm surprised. I would expect it had been reversed if we had YouTube over Facebook, you know, flip up. Would have, Christian would have had the award. But Facebook doesn't care. They just steal your information. They just sell your information to... Uh, I forget what that video on Instagram said. Selling your information. Facebook was selling your messages to other things. That's why now there's that heavy encryption thing on Facebook Messenger. And it didn't work for me a, a bit, but now it's like, it brought back all my messages. Like, okay. People that I used to say, oh yeah, I used to talk to that person. That was the one that's supposed to do things for me. And then I didn't talk to another friend and say, what about that guy who said he was going to do things? And 
my other friend Thomas said, yeah, he no good. It's like, whoa. So I would have lost, everyone falls down. I would have lost my Combiner Wars figures that I wanted to have custom painted to become another Combiner if I depended on that guy. So sometimes my hesitation works. But I do need to send, oh, come on. Come on here. Do it. Smash it. Oh, crap, I still have seven moves and 30. Wow, I'm losing this game. So my hesitation did not work on the Combiner Wars figures, so I still retain the figures. The Daleks are still in England, which the guy, I don't know. I gave you enough time. I just stopped bugging people about customizing because they have things to do. But, you know, you, know, you think we're going to do these Daleks? And another one who has the TARDIS, which is the original one that came out, but has the higher roof line with the bigger base because I had my mind set on certain ways. He just had, uh, I don't blame him. I still haven't finished last chapter of a short story after two years. It's mentality. It's, uh, sometimes you don't feel like last, last week I was, my health dropped three days as I, I thought I was getting better. I dropped. I said, I cannot do anything, but I have to listen to part three of the master, which I loved a lot. And I use my voice, even though it hurt like hell, but I did it. And now I can go back and sing, you know, Jimmy Buffett, Kermit the Frog, Little River Band. Well, maybe not. I, I'm not pushing myself anymore. <laughs> but the standards are back up. I like the standards of schools, which... Again, that's for the talk show. That's for people that don't understand. You know, say, well, you don't want to follow me for entertainment here and this and that maybe when i do the reviews on move the videos you know may i do more snack reviews i i got the two cadbury egg and reese's the reese's mallow mallow top which was sweet i mean that was definitely a sweet thing why aren't you focusing there it was unique but i will not eat anymore i got a blue Berry uh, mini moon pie. I mean, that's a review too. Just the just to get people out there saying, "Hey, look, interesting." It's about entertainment. So, if people want the hard hitting opinions of political and social views, that's what the talk show would be about. Because that's what I'm used to. I don't like it. But it's something I know. Something I can relate to. Like, well, you know, this is what I see every day. This is what we know. Nothing's done about it. But you have those that are going to nitpick and say, you know, blame them, blame them, blah, blah, blah. I'm a freaking mod. I don't give a flying fool. This is what it is. You know, instead of putting the blame, let's, the 12th doctor speech, that was always a big thing. It's always sitting down and talking, which no one does is always just call it in or you do it for me. I want something that I know I can talk about because this is all I hear about, deal with, and 
someone explained it to me. He's okay. I wish I was like that in school, understanding things. But, you know, I took the route of the clown. I am the modern day Joker. I, I still need to see that movie. I guess I'm just waiting for it. I don't even watch TV anymore. I watch game shows and Seinfeld, you know. But um, maybe once went to the $5 bin, I'd get it. Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. And the new one is going to have uh, Lady Gaga. Yeah, I like her. She's very nice. Still going, uh, still going. What is this a Saturday night? I, everyone keeps, when you left, everyone keeps coming in. It's like, oh my God. Yeah. Everyone just popped in afterwards. You left and I was, uh, when you left, I had uh, Ireland 2K7 to talk to. He's never by my voice. And then Kenzo pops in, Radical Toys, Toy Mama. And, Time scales like wow, I got to talk to my fans and I'm amazed, and now I can see everything. I'm, I'm still, and to look at my numbers, I got with Jay coming in as subscriber 104. It's like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta get my other friends to do that, you know. What? But I post the videos on Facebook, I post the videos on. Twitter X, Twitch, Twix. Thank you. You know, I, I do the videos. The first video was half an hour. It took an hour to load. So I'm going to do one more video. I can talk about the tornado that happened that I slept through. Oh. I post on Facebook. I post it on Twitter X, Twix. I post it on my fan page. Tasty Cake on the socials on Facebook, and I post it on Instagram. It's like, they see it, they don't really need to subscribe. They just look at it, okay. So just amazing fun. But I'm I'm going to end this stream soon. I do have um, 112 emails to go through. I do have Hero Wars that I'm addicted to. Uh, pets. Pet Saga. What's the pet thing? Oh. Yeah, end to end, end, to end encrypted messages restored. That's the whole foo foo thing. Uh, pet Rescue Saga. Yeah. Okay, my friend Olivia has posted. So the AXS app messed up and only sold me one ticket for the beat show. There's n there is no phone number that can be found easily. And when you do find it, it and it and call it, it hangs up on you after two minutes. The chat is the only way to go. And the guy literally told me flat out he wasn't going to help me. He told me he's going to help me. He's not going to help me in any case due to a no refunds policy and he can't sell me the open seat next to the seat either. The app won't let me let you choose a seat and the seat I wanted to purchase next to mine was available, but only if I bought two more tickets and randomly submitted the request until the seat came up like a number randomizer. If I select one ticket, no matter how many times I submit the request, it selects a random seat six rows back. So I bought two seats thinking I would end up doing a chargeback with my bank for the first one because this is BS. I tried to chat again and the, told the same guy because apparently they only have one person doing their customer service that the app double charged me. Then he took care of it immediately. After hours of hammering at this, apparently you can have the exact thing you need done if you phrase it properly. The app accidentally only put one putting one order through he won't fix but the app double charging me he will fix this is why 
young people don't go to concerts. I think people are tired of celebrity culture, like the J-Lo drama that is happening now, and they're tired of aggressively bad customer service that comes with concert ticket sales. That's from my friend Olivia. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, tornado. Oh, yes, time scales. Uh, Woot woot. Uh. I'm surprised I slept through that for mine, but my friend Olivia, who lives in Burbank, she's an influencer. She's always, you go on her YouTube page, Olivia Durant. She always talks about how she's been blind since birth. She wears these contacts so she can see a certain distance, but she wore the Coke bottle glasses. So she can only see like this far in front of her, literally. Lovely girl, woman, young lady. So she would be the one I see in Burbank. She had. But yeah, I'd, I wouldn't go to any concerts, though. I just. Mm, holy moly. That pet rescue saga. That's it. Yeah. Um, it's all these things is just absolutely nuts. So she went through that. My friend Gadget went through the universe. Help her. Is the universe tell me what to do? And then the earthquake happened in New York. My ex had this thing and her mom and then something, her surgery and then the cause, something happened. Like, And then me saying, I had, I sent out the energy and I couldn't ground myself. So what I'm going to say is, that, oh yeah, my, the love interest that wasn't really happening is going back into the old film industries. I don't know. No. I don't know. Silly thing. I told someone, I said, you have, your situations are much different than mine. Oh, yes, my grocery manager. I said, yeah. But it's entertaining, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. But tomorrow I got to go Best Buy, see about these modems. I got to go to Walmart. See if anything's come up. Maybe Krang. That'd be nice. I know Moss Man and the um, Talent Fighter are reduced down to 2550. If Moss Man reduced to 20, I would. But when I went from here to, I think it was Tifton, Georgia. That's how I always like to stop in Tifton. They had the Superpowers Bat. Jet, two bucks. So, oh my God, two freaking dollars. I would never go to conventions either. It's just, uh, my, it's nuts. So, yeah, he went from the forty, which I paid, and I was gonna get a second one just to do the alternate figure. But I still have the original one, and I just don't want to pay twenty five fifty. So as that one one Walmart had it for two bucks and then went down to Orlando, it was on clearance for 12 bucks. And so the every every store is gonna be different. There's no price comparison, never has been. So if he went down, yeah, I'll grab another one. So I do Moss Man and his evil brother, you know, with the hairline issue. Maybe give him the yellow armor and give um, main Moss Man the pieces I got off of Etsy. I think I got I think I got one thing off of Etsy. I I don't know where I put the Etsy thing.
I really got to go through those drawers. That would be nice being stuck in the 80s. Not the trickle down theory thing. Well, see, we have the trickle down theory, so we keep giving more money to the rich and then it was trickled down to others. No, that's not how it works. Well, I'm rich, so it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> right, Nancy? <laughs> Oh, Fibro has master verse too. Oh, okay. I'm going to Ross tomorrow. I may go to the other Walmart. But I'm going to Ross tomorrow. The Five Below is next to Dollar Tree, which is in the same shopping center. Mm. Now you look. Because with my cyclones, they were supposed to, they reached the post office on Saturday when they closed, so I'm expecting them to be there now. <laughs> Thank you, Oz. I appreciate you being coming back. Yeah, I need to. I need to do the other things too. I mean, great night. I'm, this having doing a live thing is like wow. I have all these people showing up. Pretty cool. Well, that's good. I missed out on Rock Con. I was like, eh. never gotten the first time. I was like, yeah. I did get Triclops. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Every Monday night, same time. Enough time for me, dinner, and everything. Yeah. If I can figure out how to put music in the background, I would. We'll see. That's, I said, yeah. Oz asked me about putting music in the background. It's like, um, was Oz? Or was it, it was between Oz and uh, in Ireland. Oh, Ireland said that. He's Ireland 2K7 said, Get some copyright free audio in the background, like crackling fireplace. I can do it for the videos, but uh, here there's no way of doing it. But yeah, I could, as he said, I could, I could sing. I do some singing, and, and here they can't do it because that's not music. So that's a chance. Work on things here. Always improvements. Yes, it was, was it Saturday night. I didn't. Wow, time is. Now that I have my screen back, I can see everything. I'm so happy. But it is getting, it is getting late. I'm kind of. Hello, figuratively speaking. Yeah, I appreciate you stopping by and. Uh, let me turn my light off. One thing. Let me turn this other light on. There's nothing stopping me from doing everything here. There we go. Like moving my thing here. So I keep uh, everyone's joining in late. I was like, early and late. Wow, I feel special. Speaking of special, let's see. Um, I'm curious if 
I'm curious if she's online. I can't tell. I just do the videos tomorrow. I don't. Devil's comment. Oh. I don't. I was right. 118 emails. Is to Zoom. Trying to see. So I purchased a program set that supposedly stopped me from having the blue screen of death and updated my my drivers. And I, oh, and I clicked on it and it said, you know, you still have the old one. Like, what the heck did I pay for? Because it, I guess it's only something. Oh, I have 174 fuel points from Kroger. 100 fuel points, that means I get, I use it at a Shell gas station, get 10 cents off gas. Well, if I go to the other Walmart, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. I can do that. Nothing. Um, That's me. She's not on. I don't care about that. Publisher Clearing House. Yeah, let's click you there. Um, who's um? Wow. I have how many people? Three people that like the article I posted. So here's one. Something I would talk about in my talk show once we get started. You know, I try to want to keep everything separate. Uh, really? Because, uh, well, honestly, for us, it's uh, based on the shell. Because it's uh, it's really ten cents more, you know, from the cash to card. So that's why I do it. So, yeah, ten cents more. So I get the ten cents off a gallon. And I pay ten cents more for there, so I get the cash option. So that's why I figure out too. But uh, compared to the other gas stations, as you know, cheap gas, cheap gas, cheap gas. I try to get the much best thing I can. Okay, emo three sixteen got something upgrade kit. Mgo emo, Mgo the freaking geek. So I posted this right. Is that um, the VP, whatever her name is? If you kill a burglar, it means you value your things more than the burglar's life. And the picture of the dude says, if you break into my home, your value, you value my things more than your life. Five people like it. Then my friend, he's just blaming, saying, oh, Republicans always seen the bullshit arguments, then they're winning themselves. Brainless cretins. My new friend, who I, I knew of, I know where he works. He goes, he's very moderate. Interestingly, I can see value in both statements. Something missed often, but something that you should always be considered. While possessions are never as important as yeah, human life, one should always never be put in a situation of invasion into their homes. So perhaps a statement, compassionate self-defense is appropriate, when one must do all they can to avoid that kind of violence on themselves or others, except in most extreme situations. This could be a really good conversation and debate if people would engage it and discuss the differences in their perspectives. And so I say, someone breaks in my house, you know, that's it. And as I said, I believe in compassionate 
self-defense. Years ago, I helped protect a store clerk from a robbery. I chased the man. We ended up getting into a physical altercation. I held him there till the cops got there. When they did, the cops told me, thank you, but also reminded me it was only a beer. The guy stole made me put in into perspective. Was it worth getting him away from the clerk? You bet. Was it worth hurting him over a beer? Likely not. So I am right there at that pivot between. And I talk about my assistant manager and my manager. This woman stole from us three times. Different vehicle. She has a kid. She got in the car with a kid. My assistant manager was in front of the vehicle. My boss was in the back, had the door open. She went, put foot on the gas and did a hard right. The door in the back was still open. My boss just got out of the way. And so did my assistant manager. What if she was that psychotic? Hit my assistant manager, vehicular homicide. Obviously child endangerment. And if my boss got in the back, that would have been kidnapping. The former uh, cashier, which I'm glad is gone. She took out her phone and said, I know this person then on Facebook and it was on the next city. So told the cops who this person was and then, you know, probably took, took everything done, but did they have to endanger their lives? No. It's not the first time my sister manager did this. He chased after a thief. And they went around the building and I didn't know the two people. If they showed me the video, I would have stopped the other guy. Cause there's three of us. And we just, you know, stand there and just wait for the cops to come. Like, where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere. You get near us, we put you in jail, period. One way or another. When no one told me until afterwards. It's, you know, what can you do? And then my friend who's a comic book artist, or he's higher up now, he says, I value my family's lives more than any intruders who put zero value on his life. So, respectfully, with John and David commenting while the others go, you know, Conservatives comparing things that aren't comparable. Like, um, again, the far left, which my friend is, who doesn't believe in tearing down statues. And I said, you know, how are they going to learn? No, they go to museums. They don't go to museums. It's not taught in school. If it's on the internet, people don't know. Once it's gone, it's gone. People forget. I forget names and I don't mean to. I remember faces. I know, you know, I know your face. I know your face easily. I mean, how did Emily forget my coat name when she calls me every single time? She sees me like, hi, Tasty. That's your boy here. But I also posted some years ago, it was the one about McDonald's putting up the kiosk machines right and <clears throat> because i said they raise minimum wage they put up a kiosk machine that's people and you say well this and that, 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 that. we come seven years later we have walmart saying you had to pay a membership to use the self-checkout target said you had to have 10 items less to use self-checkout so everything's changing Thank you, sir. Huh. Is that what? What? Time to help. <laughs> Youngster. Yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's down to, down to two, so I'm a great show tonight. I got stuff to do three and a half hours. I'm amazed. Thank you all. God, I appreciate it. That was kind of weird. 
that was a Freudian slip of sorts, sort. But great show tonight. Respect to every single one that's been on here. Everyone have a great night. And I'm going to think of new endings somehow. It's going to be cool. So see ya. Good night. Appreciate y'all. Yay, all the silly boticons. <laughs>